going to go. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a lame way to start off a stream, but <laughs> anyway, uh, how's everyone doing? I'm just uh, the reason why I'm on this screen right now is because this particular game that I'm playing tends to go through menus an awful lot if you end up being inactive um, on the game. So what I'm going to do for the stream uh, is I'm going to be um, so I'm going to be pretty much. What am I trying to see here? Yeah, I'm going to reset the game from the beginning. I'm going to wait for people to turn up first, uh, so that way they, some people can see the introduction in this game, because it's pretty epic. And I've done a few tests as well to make sure that everything is all smooth and sailing and ready to go for tonight's stream. So, uh, I'll just uh, keep on waiting for people to turn up. Ah, good old-fashioned H2O. Love it. But I also have a little... Something for a treat. Got some good old peach and apricot cider. Honestly, my favourite cider, if you ask me. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just have my wait for people to t turn up. Because I only just started uh, streaming, like, not that long, about a couple minutes ago. So um, hopefully everybody's been doing okay um, today. I've been doing fine myself. I've just been, you know, taking it easy. I'm off on holiday from work for a few days up until Tuesday. That's when I go back to work. So um, I'll be taking it easy until then. And uh, hopefully uh, my mind will be all, uh, you know, be much... Oh, pardon me. It's probably that cider I've been drinking now. <laughs> um... Uh, hopefully my mind will be at ease like a bit more as I head back into work and it's very important to feel that way um, at this uh, at this time where everything completely going to hell for the time being that is hopefully that will ease up uh, later in the year but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'll just I'll just reset the game now and uh, so you get to see the beginning plus the good old PlayStation logo as well. Ah, the vintage days of the PS1 logo there. And since I'm technically playing this from the beginning, I might as well view the introduction there on as the piracy screen as well. You remember those days. <laughs> yep, here it is, Talk of Touring Car Championship, and it was uh, signed and published by Codemasters there. Oh, hey Sam, good to see you. Welcome to the stream tonight. How are you doing? So here's the intro to this game, based on the 1997 Touring Car Championship. I'm well, thank you, how are you? Yeah, that's good to hear that you're doing well, Sam, and I'm uh, doing well as well, thanks. This will be like the first uh, full Let's Play that I'm doing on the uh, Twitch uh, Live. And what my intentions are with this game is that I'm going to be doing the... There's a short championship and a full championship, but I figured that uh, a full championship uh, sounds better if you ask me. There's more laps and uh, there's more mayhem to ensue, uh, especially for a sport like this, as you see here, with everybody easily crashing off the track. So yeah, those are little snippets of the 1997 British Touring Car Championship. I mean, I don't know if... Uh, have you heard of the sport before, Sam? The British Touring Car Championship? So of course we're going to go for English as our language and uh, just make sure our game options are fine. Uh, sound setup seems okay to me. Uh, what I'm going to do when I get to... Actually, I'm going to turn the game music off because I, I'm not really a big fan of it, to be honest with you. So the graphics setup, controller setup, uh, uh, should be fine. Alright. I think so, not overly sure though. Um, well, hopefully when I do the field championship here, hopefully it might bring back some memories, I'm not sure. As you can see, I've already got two uh, events unlocked. The Talker Showdown is um, what you get after you beat the, field, uh, the, the normal championship. But I'm not doing that, I'm going to do the, uh, the normal championship first. And I'm going to go for a full championship. And uh, what I'm going to do is I just you know, keep my name as always. 
and I'm going to go as the Audi for this one. The other cars available are like the, the Honda Accord, uh, the Audi as I mentioned, the Vauxhall Vectra, the Volvo, the Ford Mondeo, the Nissan Peugeot and the Renault Laguna. But I think for this championship I'm going to go as the Audi because um, it's a four wheel drive and uh, it should uh, give me quite a, a good advantage in this wheel championship. So I start off with that. And yeah, I am having a, a bit of some cider for my stream tonight. Because <laughs> why not? So basically, we got um, 18 laps at uh, Donington Park here. Um, which might sound quite long, but based on how unpredictable this sport can be... Here we are then for the start of the 1997 touring car season. The Audi team are a bit of a surprise package this season with the introduction of a completely unknown driver. The opening rounds of the championship bring us to Donington Park. The first qualifying session is about to begin, so let's see what happens. Looking forward to Crash Bash Part 2, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you are. I'm glad you're looking forward to that, uh, Sam. Um, I certainly had a fun time recording and a bit of a frustrating time as well with uh, certain challenges. So, pretty much what we've got in the championship mode here is uh, we've got uh, qualifying times to, uh, to determine uh, what position you're going to start in. Uh, to advance through the championship, all you need to do is gain uh, a race points. And uh, if you finish uh, first place in, the, in a race, you'll get 15 points. And if you qualify first place, you'll get a single point. It is pretty difficult to get first place in this. I know that from experience after uh, playing this game a few times. And it is very easy for the car to slip, no matter what car you are in the race. But Donington Park is uh, one of the... Uh, from what I remember, it is one of the most uh, well-recognised uh, venues of this uh, sport, in my opinion, I think. Okay, I maybe could have taken that corner a little bit better, but I uh, managed to get around it. Okay. I also uh, recorded uh, some Crash Bandicoot 4 earlier today as well. And uh, let's just say the level that I did, I think it was uh, Crash Landed, that's the level that I did uh, for earlier. And uh, that level was a bit of a nightmare, um, and that's an understatement to be honest with you. If for those who play Crash Bandicoot 4, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go for another lap to see if I can maybe get a better time. And uh, if I slip at any point, I'm just going to skip the qualifying session and go straight to the first race. Or the rest of it, anyway. Okay, so so far the split will tell me, like, uh, you know, uh, was it faster than your first lap, and so on and so forth. Oh, now I've got to take in mind, there's going to be traffic along here as well, so there's a... Uh, yeah, they will try and stop me from getting a good time, but luckily it's very easy to pass them. And oh crap, I... Do you know what? I'll end that there. I think all the levels are a nightmare. Yeah, they are pretty much a nightmare in that game, yeah. Uh, so, basically, the Reynolds are going to be a nightmare in this game, especially Alan Menu, who got the uh, the pole point there. I qualified 8th place with that time there, so that's pretty respectable. So, I'm starting in the middle of the grid. So, let's get down to the first race. So I need to get 20 points of this venue, so I need to win at least this race, and at least get 6th place in the second race. Now, what I need to do, I need to be careful here, because this is not your, uh... Oh, crap, right, okay, I need to be careful here, because, um, I could get, um, warning, warnings for dangerous driving, if I mess about with the drivers too much, so I need to be careful and try and make, uh, clean passes if I can. But because of how unpredictable this sport can be, it is going to be very hard. 
But the first race is pretty easy. It's pretty easy to overtake everybody here. And there's my teammate there. Is he going to let me pass? And he looks like he is. And sometimes the drivers will go off on the track on their own accord. Uh, for example, let me show this example with this Renault in front here. Uh, it's like, oh, hi, and uh, goodbye. Off he goes. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much screwed him around. It's either because he's that nervous that I'm behind him uh, that he lost control of the car, or I deliberately pushed him off. In this case, I deliberately pushed him off, because why not, you know? I'm a dirty player in this game, I guess, so why not? And speaking of a dirty player, I ended up going into the dirt from my trouble anyway, uh, briefly. So I guess that's what I deserve. Now it is easy in this race, but uh, the next few rounds are going to be very difficult. I've got to keep in mind as well that even though in first place, I could still screw up very easily here and I could lose the lead just as easily. But I'm hoping this first race will not be uh, too bad. I was playing Crash 2 earlier and I had to rage quit very hard. Oh dear, that's uh, that's uh, that's unfortunate, Sam. Um, and uh, sorry, I'll just I'll read you the rest of your comments as soon as I go around this uh, bend here. There we go. Um, I got to a nice level where the death path was so difficult, full of ice paths and uh, nitros. Oh, was that? Um, I take it was that cold hard crash that you were doing. Because so I can I can understand why you get very angry at it because uh, that level it can be a real pain in the backside. Was it like the original you were playing, or was it the remake that you were playing as well? Yes, that's the one, yeah. I thought it would have been Cold Heart Crash. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, I see what I mean. Yeah, that's how easy it is to slip up on that one. Oh, the remake. I the remake can be a bit of a pain, even more than usual, um, when it comes to that level, as well as the original. So I can understand uh, where you're coming from. And the nitros in that one, for some reason, they feel a bit too unpredictable, in my opinion. Because uh, they always end up jumping up when you least expect it. And that was a very bad experience I had in the remake with both uh, Crash 2 and 3 there. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty well in this race. We're on our third lap out of 18. And now uh, hopefully, if I'm... Oh my god, really? Ah, oh, why do I keep slipping up there? That is ridiculous. I mean, it's probably because I'm breaking way too late at that turn there. I think that's what's going on. Would you consider streaming Crash 2 in the future? That would be cool. Um, yeah, that would be... Uh, yeah, I definitely would do that. Um, do you want, like, the original or the remake or both? Um, I don't really mind uh, which one. That was a bit of a better turn there in that corner, and I didn't slide this time around. I'm not sure actually streamer's preference. Oh, I could do both. I could do both the uh, the the original and the uh, the remake uh, and 100% run.
So, so far, not doing too badly here. I'm actually holding the lead pretty well here. And eventually, if I don't make enough mistakes, I could lap the other cars here and get some more exciting action to see what happens to them. And speaking of which, I think I saw a brake mark there on that corner, so I could be close. Unless if that was my mistake from earlier coming back to haunt me. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's no problem, Sam. That's no problem. I'm always happy to take any requests from any of the viewers. Getting a better time here on this. I just hope I don't slip again on this corner here. So that way I can get a better time to go around. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. That's slightly better. This may be... Oh, God, no. Oh, crap, I knocked over all those coins there and crashed slightly into a wall there. Great way to end that four flap off. Just thinking, uh, um, if there's anything else new, um, anybody like had any like uh, good news uh, recently? Because I mean, I know that it's um, like in this this day, you know, in this, you know, and. At this time of year, it is kind of hard to find some good news, but I um, wonder if anybody's got like some good news to share. What about you, Sam? Have you had any good news happen to you lately that you'd like to, to talk about? Or Okay, we caught up with the, the slow pokes here. Did I send one out? Oh, I did. Yeah, I sent that voxel off. Um, hmm, I think I might try something a bit devious here. Let's see if I can maybe, uh... Oh dear, well, I sent him off the... I sent him right through the grass there. That's not exactly where I thought he was going to go. He is kind of in my way. Is he going to go off the track? I think he will. Oh, he's... Oh, that's two cars going off the track now. And one of them hit the wall there. It, you can actually... Yeah, my partner's uh, 16 weeks pregnant. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm very happy to hear about that. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully everything all goes well there. I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine there for you, uh, for the both of you. But I'm very happy to hear that. Thanks, friend. Uh, yeah, that's no problem. Uh, how about you? Um, to be honest with you, there's nothing really been much going on with me. I mean, I've just been on holiday. I mean, I'm on holiday now uh, for the next few days from work. So I could, that way I can maybe ease my mind off uh, a little bit from uh, from everything going on uh, by doing streams like this and interacting with all of you, which is always a good way to take my, my mind off of things. And even playing games generally, speaking off screen is also another good way to do that as well. I mean, I know this seems like a bit of an obscure game that I've uh, picked to, to Let's Play but uh, on Twitch, but um, it's quite a fun one if you ask me. Uh, well, if you ask me anyway. Uh, wait, is it? Do my eyes deceive me? Or does that Peugeot's window, is, is that smashed in? It looks like it is. Or, or maybe it's not okay. Maybe it's just me. My eyes are deceiving me. Okay, this uh, puzzle's going, uh, okay, cool, nice, chilly. Sometimes it's good to escape from things going on. Gaming is a good platform to help escape. It is indeed, yeah. It's like a you know, um, good uh, way to relax and like uh, disconnecting yourself from reality. Oh dear, there goes that puzzle. I sent him off. Okay, I kind of, uh, I kind of thought that maybe I would have, uh, 
uh, got them out of the race there. You see, like, it's very easy to flip your car upside down in this, uh, depending on how hard you smash into the wall in this. But uh, just because, I mean, like, if I uh, ended up flipping upside down, then that doesn't mean that I'm out of the race. The game automatically turns me back on my, uh, on the front again. Hope everything works out. Yeah, I hope um, everything uh, works out as well for you, my friend. Hope everything works out for you as well. With everything going on. And I spy with my little eyes some other opponent going on here. And, uh, yep, there he is. Who is that? It's a Volvo. Aha. Let's see if maybe I can, uh, let's see if I can maybe have some fun with him. If I can. <laughs> Uh, not quite yet. I'll get him though. If I managed to outlap everybody, that would be amazing. Okay, so we're nearly the halfway point of this race, which is uh, pretty amazing. Oh, what have we got here? We've, is that my teammate? Wow, I'm actually about to outlap my teammate. That's uh, that's actually kind of surprising, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to be this easy on the first track. Well, then again, that Nissan seemed a little bit mad that I called him easy. To... Oh, hey, Stefan, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, how's Ryan getting on his stream so far? Because I, I know he just started uh, not that long ago, um, uh, similar to me. Oh god, there goes a Honda. Everybody's... Wow. I really bullied that Honda off the track. Same with my teammate there. Good. You, mate? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, I'm, I'm good as well, thanks. He's doing Electric Avenue. Oh, that's that's good. Uh, Electric Avenue is always a good shout in there. Uh, Crash Team Racing Nitrofield. I'm currently watching three people. You see, I tried watching many people last night as well, Stefan, and uh, I can't really do that either. I'm constantly... Do you know what it's like with me when watching multiple people at the same time? It's like swapping, uh, you know, in Five Nights at Freddy's when you're keeping an eye for the animatronics and you're um, actually keeping an eye on the cameras. That's like that with me, like constantly watching for people to see what they're doing next, to hearing the reaction, like, oh God, what happened next? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, God damn it. Okay. Oh, that Volvo kind of bullied me a little bit, although I slowed him down there. He's going to pay for that. Yeah, you Volvo. Just zooming off, like, acting like you did nothing wrong. You're going to pay for that. <laughs> exactly like that, yeah. I thought so. Ah, uh, he's braking. Right. You know what? Just for that. Take that. Get off the track. Get in the grass. It's good for you. Oh, Jesus, right, okay. I actually thought I was going to slip there because I didn't have my eye on the TV there for a second. Oh, uh, one of the marker boards has gone there. Uh, somebody must have took one of them out. Is that the second time? These Fords, I took the uh, Savage Client. Yeah, it is pretty savage for me taking that Volvo out <laughs> onto the grass. Um, I took the day off from, from streaming and it was a good choice. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It is uh, definitely a good choice to take, uh, take a break from uh, streaming, mate. Just got to do what's right for you. Oh, am I going to send someone up? Oh, jeez. Wow. Uh, that kind of caused some carnage there. Oh, good God. One of the... Did their bumper hang off? That was... Uh, that's one of the Ford's bumpers hanging off. She was... Okay, I definitely caused a lot of chaos there. Alright, here's uh, some more guys I can take out there. I'm also surprised the game hasn't said you've been disqualified for this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Is everybody willing to take each other out here? That's what I mean by doing the full championship causes nothing but more chaos. And that's what I like about this. If this was the short one, you wouldn't see anywhere near as much chaos as this. Okay, you're not going to send me off, are you? Good. Oh, Jesus, okay. Okay, both cars are going off. What happened to that Pujo there, actually? Oh, okay, Brito got sent off. 
And now my uh, back window has been cracked. Or near bit broken. So one more hit and my back window is gone and I'm going to feel the draft coming from the back. Thank goodness it's not raining on this track. Otherwise my driver would have really um, been drowning in, in that rain. Or even a thunderstorm for that matter as well. Oh, I'm catching up to the two Reynolds. This should be fun. If I can get away with this, I might mess a bit with them for a little bit. Oh, there's someone's with them. Who? It is a Nissan, or in the Vauxhall. Oh, jeez. That's another Renault after. I think I've, yeah, I have overlapped them now. That's, that is, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, overlapping doesn't give you extra points. Okay, right. Uh, oh, the teammate actually helped him get back on the track there. <laughs> okay, why are you braking so soon, Vauxhall? I know it's easy, but come on, you don't need to brake every time. It's like I'm displaying my road rage here. <laughs> Only here in the UK, folks, you get a good amount of road rage. And I think I might display it here if, if the traffic continues to be slow like this. Yes, I'm calling them traffic because of how slow they're being. They're going way too slow for my liking. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, whoa. That was a good little spin around there. A spinner rooney I guess. I forgot, no, no. I mean, who's that catching up with me? Oh, it's a Renault. How far is he? Oh, he's, he's right behind me. Let's try something a bit sneaky and a bit risky. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good little shortcut you can take as well. I hope I didn't get um, penalised for that. Because sometimes if you don't complete a lap properly, then you'll be uh, through Mac a few positions. So I hope that doesn't come out to bite me in the backside. Oh, God, okay. Is my left and right side? Yeah, there's... Oh, actually, no, it's my, my right side actually looks kind of cracked. Okay, so we've got six more laps to go on the first race here at Donington. And afterwards we will go for another end to see if I can uh, if I can maybe finish the anything nice for your evening meal clan. I just had a burger myself I ran the question. No, no, it's okay. Feel free to ask any questions you want um, in the stream. Uh, just as long as they're reasonable, of course. Like, you know, we're just... There's almost a reasonable questions, but anyway, um, but no, that's not random at all. Um, what I had was uh, just a couple of um, a couple of bits of um, uh, chicken along with uh, some rice. It's uh, I, I, I specifically chicken steaks, I would say, is what I had, and um, along with some rice. Oh, hey, uh, Mojo Swap Tops, uh, how you doing? Uh, hope I'm hope you're well. Yeah, I'm doing well myself, mate. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh. I keep... Oh. Well, that went horribly. Sounds nice. Yeah, good thanks. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. That's good. Gonna, yeah, there we go, my way around the corner there. It 
feels to me like the other drivers have given up trying to beat me because uh, I'm not seeing them anywhere on the track. It feels like I'm the king of the track. I've got the whole track to myself now. That's what it honestly feels like to me when I'm seeing this right now. That being said, I'm on, I am on lap 13, and we all know that 13 can be really unlucky. So, I maybe... Oh, I slightly tempted fate there, but thankfully it didn't follow through with the slip there. I think I meant to watch the uh, the the British Dream Car Championship last year, but I completely forgot. And I think I did see some very intense moments in the in the sport. Like somebody, I believe, ended up crashing somebody off the track so much. It's it's sort of like NASCAR in a way. I remember seeing some NASCAR fights where somebody ended up. Uh, uh, sorry, what are you saying, Sam? I'm not a Twitch expert, but is there a way I can support the stream, or do you have to be affiliated? Well. I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a full expert on what affiliate status is yet, mate, but, um, but, uh, you can uh, share it around your social net media networks if you want, uh, so uh, you can let people know that I'm uh, streaming if you want to, that would be greatly appreciated. But, um, with affiliate, I'd imagine there will be more options available. Speaking of that, actually, I believe I'm only uh, three followers away from reaching affiliate. Um, I've achieved all the other goals, for, uh, and the followers is all I need. If I can reach another three followers, that would be amazing. I will, I will. Yeah, that, that's that's not a problem, uh, Sam. It's whatever you want to do. It's uh, totally fine. Oh, and here's some more... Okay, this Ford, I don't think, uh, was the one that was severely damaged. Oh, no, it was. Look at that. Holy crap. I feel kind of bad for that. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, that was something. How in the hell did I not get a warning for that? I could have smashed that Vauxhall's back window there. That should have been at least a warning for dangerous driving there. Unless if that's just normal in the British Tune Car Championship, if that's the case, that sounds like a very intense sport, <laughs> if that is the case. Hey, what's he gonna do? What did I do to him? Oh, I sent him far off into the grass. I, I actually was afraid I was gonna make him crash into that sign there and crash into the steel. Because steel wins every time. What did I do to him there? Send him off into the gravel there. As a matter of fact, for the next qualifying session, I'm only going to do one lap only to prove my worth. If I slip out, I slip out. I should be able to catch up pretty easily anyway with uh, with all the extra laps I have anyway. Oh my god. Oh, no. Right, yeah, slow all the way down is, uh, prevents me from slipping. I don't know why I'm looking behind me, honestly. I, I've got nothing to worry about when it comes to the uh, the drivers uh, catching up to me. Unless they put, like, rocket engine fuel in their cars. <laughs> you imagine that? Stay on the asphalt, yeah. I, I definitely, definitely should stay on the asphalt. Just think of it like Crash Team Racing. Oh my god. Yeah. Think of it like Crash Team Racing, uh, except there's no uh, weapons in this. You have to just rely on skill to succeed in this. I think I was uh, about to lap somebody um, once again, but who was it though? Uh, going to try playing Witcher 3 tomorrow is meant to be good. Have you played it before? Uh, I've never played Witcher 3 personally, but I did see somebody um, play it over on Twitch. It was um, His name's uh, 
LRG. Um, I can't remember the numbers in his name though, unfortunately. But I did watch him play it, uh, I think it was uh, yesterday, I think. And he was pretty good at it. And it was a definite highlight to the stream. Uh, which I... Uh, which I won't spoil, obviously, um, because uh, you haven't played it yet. But um, if you're quite a fan of Witcher 3 once you've played it, um, I recommend uh, checking him out. Because uh, he's trying to build up uh, support, uh, build up his channel as well. I think you might have seen him before in the chat, I think, in some of my streams as well. I think, uh, Stefan, I think you'll know, remember the numbers, uh, don't you, of, of his, of his uh, Twitch name. Oh, who do we have here? We have... The... Oh, we got Nissan again. Alright, just to be on the safe side, in case I get a warning. Right, are you asking for trouble again, Volvo? Because I'll more than happily give you that if you're going to be this way with me. Right, whoa, 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 okay. Uh, I've, uh, I've muted Ryan, say that again. Sorry, Stefan, uh, System, uh, do you remember LRG's full, uh, channel name? Because I can't remember the numbers in his name for his Twitch name. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, for Sam, like, uh, if he wants to check him out. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a, yeah. Nah, now I remember what it was, yeah. Thanks for that, mate. Want me to put it in the link? Yeah, yeah that's no problem, yeah. Y you can do that if you want. Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, I'm reading every comment as I go along, aren't I? Yeah. I mean, it's good to read out all the comments, but I really um, shouldn't be reading every single one of them, uh, unless if it's like a conversation between two people there. I know just sushi, I think I'm far too keen. <laughs> so, the penultimate lap of the first race. What will happen on the final lap? Only well, time will tell. It's good to see others uh, supporting others on uh, Twitch with the uh, community can build up. That being said, it's the exact opposite here in this game where I'm not supporting any of the drivers. Well, we're not supposed to be supporting each other, it's every man for himself. <laughs> Alright, we're on our final lap. Let's see what we can make of this. And I think, is that another Volvo in front of me? I don't know if that's the same one that I kind of bullied off the track. <laughs> then again, he was asking for it because he kind of bullied me in the first place. I know two wrongs don't make a right, but still, you know, in a game like this, um, sometimes you can throw that statement out the window. Okay. Oh yeah, there he is. I think I did use the Volvo in this game before, and uh, the acceleration of it is very good, but the steering, not so much. It's actually not that great when it comes to steering. The best car in this game, if you ask me, is probably the Honda Accord, like the red and the white one. Because it's got the best acceleration, and it's pretty much good all-rounder. But this is a good all-rounder as well, and a pretty good uh, potential rival to the uh, the Honda. Okay, and uh, last corner, and uh, we are finishing first in this first race. So, round one is done. Look at that, two minutes ahead of uh, Al Menu, who finished second. 
and then you have, oh god, yeah, there's a highlight of me smashing other cars. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. And it always shows me highlights of my mistakes and my screw-ups. And there's the rest of the positions right there. So the two forwards ended up finishing 15 for 16. The pole position for race two has to be decided now. Yeah, uh, thank you, Stefan. Uh, going through the whole uh, game again, right. Um, well, this is like the second race I'm doing, but I'm only... Yeah, alcohol, yeah, yeah. That's going to make things more interesting. It is going to make things a bit more... Oh my god, really? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't slip. Good God. I said I was going to stick true to my word. Only one lap for qualifying. Yeah, that I'm going to stick true to my word. I'm probably going to qualify last place. <laughs> yeah, it helps with the stress, all right. <laughs> it certainly does. It certainly does. <laughs> Plus, it's my favourite flavour as well, which makes things even better. Peach and apricot. And the, uh, the cider that I'm drinking is... Uh, um, what's the name of the brand? Recorder Lake? I don't know if you've heard of that one. I think now I'm going to have to pull out all the stops for a uh, shortcuts. Mine is either... Oh my god, really? Do you know what? No, actually no, we'll continue. Do you know what? I'm going to try and see if I can do better in the qualifying. I'm, I know, I'm going back in my word. But this is really, really bad. Mine is either Desperados or Corona. Oh yeah, Desperados is a good show. Um... Have I had uh, the Corona beer before? Um, not for a while, to be honest with you. I know that, like, uh, my brother, uh, Daniel, who, you know, uh, he he likes uh, Desperados a lot. It's his, uh, one of his favourite uh, beverages. Oh, for God's sake. Oh god, did I just smash the front of my Oh no. Yes, you can have an interior view as well like this. Yeah, the hands look very well designed. Do you know what? I'm going for another round. I know that I said I was only going to do one lap, but based on how really pathetic that was, I'm going to go for a second one and see if I can do better with my time. But yeah, I am going through the full championship on this one, so this is going to be, it's going to be a long one. It's, it's similar to like you know with uh, you know what you're doing on uh, Twitch stuff and with uh, the Stronghold of Crusade game. Like that would be, I'd imagine that would be quite a long one. Um, but this will be pretty long as well. But it'll be full of action at the same time because you saw the highlights of that first race, of me just crashing into everybody and just bullying people off the track. Sorry, Ryan was loud. Oh dear, what happened? Did he, uh, did he show in happiness or did he get really angry? <laughs> what happened? Like, uh, what race were they doing? Oh no, no, no! Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, was it was it just like uh, I've got to turn the Twitch. All oh, right, I thought something exciting had happened on this Twitch there. <laughs> That's what I, I thought you were. What were you saying? I was doing or what? Uh, so yeah, you were you're doing a Strongholder uh, Crusade on uh, Twitch, which is going to be quite a long project. Um, so it's I'm doing something similar like like this. So this will be quite a long project I'm doing on uh, Twitch. Yeah. Uh, so this will be quite long as well. Right. I'm going to end it with that time there. That's much better. Very good. Fifth place. And that's pretty good. And uh, Alan Menu got the point again. So he gets another point. Which is not good. But I got fifth place. Uh, just behind my teammate. The second the race of the day is just about to start. So, so you get five points of this one. And let's do this. Uh, a bit of a delayed start there, but I'll, uh, I'll get there. Oh no. This Volvo, is he gonna... Yeah, he's overtaking me. Not for much longer, though, I hope. Right, let's maybe be a little bit more careful. Let's try maybe not shove cars off the track. Well, I do that and I shove one of the Hondas off. My teammates had uh, gone up to third place behind the two uh, Renaults there. Let's 
so let's see if I can maybe uh, win another one. Keep the streak uh, going, perhaps. But it's not really a streak. I've only won one race. Oh, God. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, teammate. Forgive me. Forgive me. For I have sinned. And I have sent you off the track. And I send you off as well. Hmm, I'm very tempted to do something a bit underhanded and devious to this Renault car, which I'm suspecting is Alan Menu here. Oh dear, what did I just do to him? Oh, oh, right, okay, I was going to say, <laughs> I better not knocked him out of the race there. I think I was very close to getting him out of the race there, actually. And off he goes. Oh, <laughs> he crashed into the wall there. But sometimes I didn't. I don't even need to touch them, and sometimes they go right off the track on their own accord, which I find very strange, if you ask me. Because either it's because they're really, really nervous, like "Oh crap, here he comes! Here comes Clannet! Get off the track!" peeing myself, I'm pissing my pants, he's coming <laughs> he's coming along I also need to remember um, when I end the stream tonight, I'm going to rage somebody as well um, it depends on who's online but I'll see if I can find anybody that, um, that deserves a raid that deserves the support Oh, for fuck! No, no. God damn it. Alright, um, that's how easy it is to slip in this game. Oh my god. I'm hoping nobody's caught up to me now because of that mistake. Do you know what? Shortcut this. There we go. I guess some more of a shortcut there. I quite like how the announcer, like, at the end of the uh, the first race, he said, uh, a budding star. That's a very, very encouraging words from the announcer there. Oh my god, really? Ah. Oh. I absolutely hate when that happens. When you're just like, just so fast and then all of a sudden, nope, you're off the track. This is why I'm so thankful I'm doing the long version of this. I mean, at the moment it's fine because, you know, it's very easy. But it does get a bit more difficult as it goes along. For no! What the hell? That's three times I've now slipped. Oh my god. Could this be a sign of bad things to come for me? So we're going to make our way around this corner here, and hopefully it's a, a good match to take that a corner there, despite it slipping the grass. Sometimes slipping in the grass can be quite useful, because it can get you back to a good, uh, it can get you back to like a good acceleration rate sometimes, depending on how you're taking the corner. No, oh my, 
this game scares me sometimes because of uh, how unpredictable, like, that you could easily slip, like, just like at the snap of a finger. I hope that, like, Thanos doesn't come in and snap some, uh, the finger, his fingers and sends me not only off the track, but also just into dust particles. Oh my... Is it spinner rooney season or something? Why? Oh my god. It must be a spinner rooney, se spinner rooney season here because... Uh, I just keep on spinning off the track. Well then again though, this, this car is a four-wheel drive. Unlike the other cars in this game, uh, like the other cars are like a two-wheel drive. This is more of a four-wheel one, which I thought maybe would uh, help me with, uh, you know, not slipping too much, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, jeez. Yeah, even as I'm breaking a slide as well. Honestly, it's like the asphalt's made of ice. Or there's, or there's bits of ice on the asphalt without me knowing about it. Oh, God, I'm not on the grass. Get off that. There we go. Stay on the asphalt. Okay, good, you didn't slip. Thank goodness for that. And you didn't slip there either. Good. My mum's in good luck there for once. And sometimes you really need it in this game. It's like that sl slogan up on the top of that sign was uh, driving to the future. Oh, and we got the slow pokes coming up next. The ones who are in last place. Let's see who's in last place. It looks like a white Vauxhall. Yeah, that is. It's a white Vauxhall that's in last place. And I wonder why, because he keeps breaking every corner. Uh, I sort of bullied him off the track there a little bit. Maybe that's just to motivate him to get him to go faster. Maybe we're very be careful here. Oh, that Vauxhall's back window got smashed in again. Poor guy just can't seem to catch a break. This time I wasn't responsible for that. Oh dear, he's really had a rough time there. Is that this? Oh wow. Even the slightest touch sends the car off. I was a bit worried that, like, honestly, it looked like I was going to slip and slide again. There were other games I was thinking about getting from uh, from Codemasters. I think uh, there was also the uh, Colin McRae Rally series. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching has uh, heard of that. I'm pretty sure some people might have heard of the Colin McRae Rally series, which then evolved into the uh, the Dirt series. I remember I used to have the first Colin McRae Alley for the PS1, and now I have the sudden urge to want to get it again. But I'm struggling to find it. The only place I can find it is on Amazon. And I think there's another similar game to this that's coming out for PS5. Uh, next year, I believe, by a developer called uh, Motorsport Games. Um, I've never heard of them. I think they're, I think they're sort of a new developer. But it'll be interesting to see what they've uh, what they can do with a British Touring Car Championship game similar to this one. I have hopes of thinking that maybe it might be a remake of this, but I seriously doubt it is. Because uh, most of the uh, the manufacturers or the cars in this game will be out of date since that's nearly twenty five years ago. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. Smooth turn around the corner there. Good stuff there. Also, can you imagine that this game had like a, a missiles and everything? Actually, speaking of which, one of the, the vehicles in this game that you unlock, believe it or not, I actually know it. Should I spoil this now? No, I probably shouldn't for people who haven't seen this. Actually, no, I, I won't spoil it. Actually, no, don't do it. Um, but could you imagine if this game was similar to Crash Team Racing? That would be just be nothing but chaos. Just bomb the cars and just flip them up into the sky. <laughs> Or even just blow them up with uh, TNTs and nitro crates. That'd be pretty me. That'd be pretty um, chaotic. For some reason, there's something very satisfying about the sound of this uh, engine of the Audi. It's very it sounds very satisfying to me. Though the engine sounds of the Ford, um, if I catch up to a Ford, I'll let you uh, listen to this the engine sound of it because it sounds uh, either like a saxophone or a, or a Formula One car. I don't know which one it is. It's most likely a Formula One car. The saxophone thing is just uh, something I'm making up my, in my own mind. Oh, speaking of cars, who are we catching up with? My teammate and two of all those and an Asan. It seems like he's having trouble there with a couple of them. Let's give him a Louis helping hand, shall we? You can go off. You're bullying my teammate, so you can go off. Oh god. That was a dramatic sound effect that played there. <laughs> Sounded like a bomb going off. Oh no, no, don't shove my teammate off. He doesn't deserve that treatment. Right, good. Right, let's uh, have the two of us race side by side. Oh, well, maybe not. He's pulling off. Maybe wants nothing to do with me. I feel kind of hurt now by that. Oh. Well, then again, we were briefly side by side there. And this is another, uh, who are we catching up with now? It uh, looks like a Honda. Yes, uh, oh god, he slipped on his own accord. <laughs> he briefly went into the grass there. I'm going to catch up with him now because of his mistake. Oh, there he is. Yep. Hello, Mr. Honda. How are you doing? Giving you a good farewell uh, soon enough. Farewell and good night. Haha. <laughs> oh god. Well, he ended up slipping an awful lot. I'm just such a savage in this game, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would agree with me on that. I mean, Sam already said that I was a savage in this game, but that's just me in this game. That That's just uh, what you have to do in BTCC sometimes. Oh my god. I'm in the grass. Sometimes that's what you have to do to, to succeed in these races, because if you're not a savage, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> A couple of cones are spread out there. What for? Did something did a road accident happen? Or is it about to happen? Yeah, the Vauxhall's windows have been completely smashed in. God almighty, what what is wrong with this white Vauxhall? Is he too afraid to drive on the track? Or something like that? I don't know what is wrong with him. He seems to always be hesitating all the time on these corners. Oh, and here's the Ford, speaking of which I was talking about earlier on. Oh god. Oh god. No! Oh god oh my! Right, okay. I somehow did not get a warning for that. I drove right into that Ford and smashed him. 
see, sometimes that can happen. Sometimes the AI can slip on their own accord. That was a, that was a kind of a, that's what I mean. That's why I like doing the full version because moments like that can happen. Without a doubt, that is going to be shown in the highlight reel after I finish this race. So I didn't quite manage to show off the uh, four attention sign there because of that little incident happening. But here's an opportunity to have a listen to this. So I'll drive side by side alongside him. Definitely sounds like either a saxophone or a Formula One engine. I don't know what any of you think, uh, uh, which is more accurate. It's probably a Formula One engine, realistically. Or Formula One car. I'm back to the same scenario as I was in before. Oh, my left windows are completely smashed. My back window is uh, cracked. I had imagined the front of my... Uh, wait a minute, did my hood disappear? No, it didn't disappear, right? That's fine. Or my bonnet. Hood's the American term. And who are we catching up with now it is a Nissan and a Renault, I think. Or two Renaults for the price of one. I hope that this statement doesn't become true there. Oh, there goes Nissan. And they ended up going onto a wall there. Oh, okay. Hey, fellas, the Renaults. How are you doing? Okay, am I... Oh no, oh god, no! Don't you throw me off the track! <laughs> Stop scaring me a game like that, please. Please stop doing that. Oh god, where the hell did you come from? Oh god, I guess he's taking that person. No, don't you shove me off. Stop. Oh my god. Right, this Reno is really getting on my nerves. What's wrong with you? That kind of scared me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Oh dear, slipped off a little bit. Oh no, here come the two Renaults. Although that being said, they're not uh, that far, but they're not really that much, you know, they're not being a threat to me, so that's good.
Okay, so lap 13 and nothing unlucky has happened so far. Is that just a coincidence or is that, you know, or is that really how good I am like at this game? I, well, I maybe I shouldn't be bragging like that. That was a nice little turn around the corner there without me having the brake. And a new fastest time there. That's probably the best time I've had. And that if honestly if I had that time in qualifying, I could have possibly gotten first place for pole there. For qualifying anyway in first place and getting that pole point. And that looks like oh, I'm seeing another car there, but who is it? It is a Peugeot. Yeah, I'm doing quite well, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. So far. I don't think the other cars should catch up to me that much. Oh yeah, here's the three cars I'm catching up to now. Let's see if I can maybe make things a bit interesting, shall we? Maybe no. Oh my god. Okay, right, a couple of them smashing each other. Oh, God, okay. everybody's smashing each other on that corner there. Maybe I'll slow it down a bit more. Ah, there we go. I was going to say, there's no way I'm making around that at that speed. I had no choice but to slow that down there a little bit. Whoa. Good little slide around that. It's a risky move. I should try to do that more often, honestly. It would uh, make for faster times. Right. Okay. Gonna get you off again because you are going way too slow on this track. I think, to be honest with you, like the Talker Showdown thing that was in the menu is basically the full championship again, except it's mirrored. I'm not going to do that um, because it's pretty much the same. What I'm going to do after I beat the full championship, which might take uh, some time to do, uh, I will show off all the extras and the cheats, which will be quite fun to do. Oh, that's that same Ford that I smashed earlier. I am so sorry. I'm just driving alongside this Ford. I'm so sorry for smashing you up. But you kind of flipped on your, you kind of skid off the track on your own accord. Okay, we've got a Volvo. Oh, God, this Volvo is being a little bit persistent. Let's get him off and teach him some manners. That Nissan took a bit of a risk there, but I think it paid off for them there. Wait a minute, I just noticed that. Is my left one mirror? Oh god, yes it is. All this time I never noticed that. My uh, my uh, left wing mirror is gone. Smashed it off the track. Wow. All this time and I never noticed that. Oh dear, I am so sorry teammate. You did not deserve that push off the track, but I guess you were in my way, so 
you know, I had no choice, so. Oh, God damn it, right. Well, I guess that's what I deserve for shoving my teammate off. Speaking of him, actually, is he going to come up? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's recovered. That's good. I don't know if he's going to hold a grudge against me, though, for doing that. Alright, two more laps to go and we are done with friends 1 and 2 at Dorlington and we'll be moving on to a new track next. Oh, Jesus, right, okay. And, uh, God, right, okay. Oh, who do we have here? We have another Honda that's in front of us. What we want to do to him, shall we spare him or shall we take him out? I'm thinking spare, to be honest with you, because uh, there's no way. Oh, there's no way I can catch up to him. I think. Oh no, I might still catch up to him. We'll see. We'll we'll decide his fate. Pardon me, as we go along. Oh, how are you doing? Am I going to spare you, or am I going to take you off the track? Well, it looks like he's being a little bit defensive, but do you know what? I'm going to spare him. Because I think he's been through more than enough in, the, in this race for me, whoever it was that I punted off the track before. Oh, good God. No, oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I kind of punted him off the track after all. Holy crap. Right. That, uh, that caught me by surprise. I didn't expect him to really, like... You know, back into me like that. That's kind of like a little jump scare in that game. Sometimes that can happen if they're uh, you know speeding right down the if they're speeding right down the road towards you and you're not expecting it. Then yeah, some jump scares can happen in this game, which can be kind of entertaining. <laughs> that was that was that was something. Oh, God. Oh, I really should learn to stop taking shortcuts like that in the grass. It's going to cause me nothing but uh, slippery, uh, slippery time all the time. Whatever the hell it is I'm saying. <laughs> well, make, try and make this last corner a good one, considering I'm uh, on the last lap. Whoa, okay, good. And uh, that's rounds one and two at Donington done. And another victory for the new Audi driver. His team must be very happy with his progress so far. Here's a rundown of the final placings. So here's the highlights. So, okay, so that's me spinning out. Yeah, thank you very much, Stefan. Yeah. All those highlights of me just spinning. Okay, it's not going to show me the highlights of me crashing on other cars. Right, so now it's going to show the championship table. Two great races. Let's see the championship table. The new Audi driver is in the lead at this stage. Can he keep it up, I wonder?
Well, there's only one way to find out. So Ryan's drinking rum and you drinking beer. Wait, is he drinking as well? Wow, that's uh, that's quite a... Uh... <laughs> it's actually cider is what I'm drinking, mate. But wow, I can't believe we're both drinking when doing racing games. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bit of a coincidence. I mean, uh, that, that happened at the same time. This okay, is the so... Silverstone Circuit, home of British motor racing. Today, we're here for round three and four. So, let's see how the first qualifying session is progressing. Yeah, still alcohol, yeah. So, here is our next uh, track at Silverstone. One of the famous race tracks, as um, the announcer just uh, pointed out. I believe a Formula One cars have raced on this track before as well. That's how uh, recognisable this one is. And we're in a thunderstorm as well, so this is going to make things a bit more challenging. And you hear the thunder in there as well. If this lap goes well, I think I'm going to end the qualifying set, like, without any slipping. I think I'll end the qualifying session and see uh, where I qualify in the race. God, even when hearing that thunder, I mean, like, sometimes when hearing thunder and lightning in real life, it, it, it is pretty scary, I must admit that. Oh, Jesus! Crap. Right, that was, uh, that was no good. Uh, right, let's, uh... Oh yeah, so the right side of my car is completely damaged from the qualifying session. That's a brilliant way to start that off. <laughs> Do you know what? Because of that, I'm very tempted to go for another round here and see if I can get a better time than that. Yeah, so don't need a break there. I'll only just ease off the, the accelerator a little bit. And then, let's see if we can maybe, uh... Whoa. Oh my god. Jeez, right. That's maybe a bit too risky what I just did there, but hopefully that was, uh... Oh, slightly worse than last time, right? Okay. But, let's see if maybe this, uh... Let's see if maybe this turn here can uh, help me with that. Okay, this is the one that screwed me over. Good, didn't crash that time right, so this should be a better lap, hopefully. I say that and I slide in the grass. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I think I tried to be a bit fancy there, but I think that might have uh, cost me uh, some valuable time. Right, this will be better than last time, and with that being said, let's end the qualifying session now and see where I qualify. Only hundreds of a second separating the first few drivers, we should have a cracker of a race on our hands. Wow, the AI actually just took out both the marker boards there. And um, so Alan Menu got the pole point yet again. Oh, that's just amazing. I qualify sixth place for that, so that's pretty good. If I'd stuck with the original time, I would have qualified at least maybe eighth or maybe ninth. So, first race at Silverstone. Let's see what happens. And we have 20 laps on this one, since this one is slightly shorter than uh, than Donington. Um, we've got 20 laps on this one. Oh my god, I thought it was going to slip right there and then from the very beginning. That would have been disastrous if that had happened. Break just in case. There we go. Yeah. Do not want to smash into uh, you know any cars. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh we we all took out the marker boards on that. It's like saying nobody needs any brakes on this. 
Looks like breaks over wimps. <laughs> okay, actually that a bit wider, which I shouldn't have done. Let's see if I can try again past these cars here. That Volvo is doing really well. He's in third place. Let's see if I can overtake him anyway. Is he going to be kind? It looks like he is. He's not being very defensive, so that's a good thing. He's letting me past. Good Volvo, I will spare you if I remember you. <laughs> Let's overtake this for it. I, oh, you. How rude. <laughs> he tried to knock me off the track. He didn't succeed though, so haha. Now, this Renault is our menu. The one who speeds off all the time. I need to be careful with him because uh, he could uh, very well slip past me at any point. And he said I could send them off here. Oh, there he goes, yeah. Oh, there I go as well, a little bit. Um, speaking of Ryan, uh, Stefan, if you're still listening, um, uh, how is he getting on? Like, uh, uh, what sort of races has he, has he done? Has it mainly just been, uh, has there been any new ones that he's done? Or is he playing with anybody at the moment, like uh, from our uh, our server? Oh, he's getting on fine. That's good. Playing with LRJ. Oh, that's good. That's uh, that's good to know. Wonder if uh, Jin will uh, appear um, and tonight and maybe uh, play with Ryan and LRJ as well, because I know he likes to play. We've done like two times, Electric Avenue twice, wow. That seems to be the most popular track, honestly, in, the, in that game. I mean, it's mainly because of all the shortcuts you can take. Yeah, there is I. Because of that banging soundtrack. Oh yeah, the soundtrack to Electric Avenue is pretty amazing. Okay, I slipped a little, a little bit. If this game were on PS5, uh, I really wish the lightning would strike part of the track. Or bits of metal to make it a bit more interesting and it would actually cause the player to like, you know, uh, think, oh no, what if the lightning strikes the car? But we all know that, that like if you're safe and like, oh Jesus, right, okay, you need to be careful. Because it is raining after all, so... Um, but I do know for a fact, like, obviously, if you're in the car, you're going to be safe from lightning anyway. So, it's just, like, something that, that could be, that could be done there. And, yes, there is a pit stop in this game, but it doesn't do anything. Unfortunately. Good thing I braked there when I did, because I would have really slid off otherwise. Damn it. Oh, 
are trying to, oh my, what the hell, ah, I'm sliding all over, oh my god. I just like being in the grass for some reason here. I really hope that has not cost me anything. I hope none of the other drivers are behind me. Very right, good, they're not. Thank goodness for that. I really need to, you see, I'm trying to not take that corner far too wide because that's a really horrible turn, that one. I try not to, like, take it too wide because um, it's uh, going to cost me time if I do take it too wide. I mean, I know I'm in first place, but because, um, I think as the announcer said, that, um, uh, I think, who is it that said the announcer again? I think it's, uh, his name's uh, Tiff Nadell. I think that's his name. Tiff Nadell is the announcer for this game. I think he did say that, like, I mean, if he didn't say it, but, like, uh, it's the first of uh, two visits. And the second visit is, funnily enough, the final rounds. And that's when the game is going to be at its hardest. Oh, Jesus, sorry, okay. And that's why I'm practicing these turns to, uh, to make sure that I get better at them. Oh, we're catching up with somebody in last place. Who is it? It's a Peugeot. How are you doing? <laughs> You're doing just well, are you? Oh, the two Fords are together. Of course. smashed that, well, tapped him into a brick wall there. That's uh, very friendly of me. <laughs> Speaking of the Vauxhall, where's that white one? The one that keeps breaking all the time. Is he going, uh, is he going ahead? I'd be surprised if he, if he was ahead of the other. Oh, no, that's not him, is it? No, that's a, uh, no, it's a Nissan. With the one with the uh, the colours on the, the back of the car. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely Nissan. That's in front. Yeah, it is. Uh, am I going to send him off? Oh, Jesus, right, okay. I don't know why there's always a dramatic sound effect of, like, a, a bomb going off if you crash. Um, a huge crash in this. It's kind of amusing to me for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just because if I would... Oh, God, no. Well, thank goodness I landed right back on the asshole from that, uh, from that slide I had. But it's because of how over dramatic that sound is, like, boom, like when you crash. I mean, well, that, well, that, that's what it is, but in this game particularly, I don't know why it's like that. But it's kind of funny to me. God, that thunder was louder than the others. Could Thor be, ma be about to make his appearance? I always make that joke every time, especially the thunder and lightning we got back in the in August here in Scotland. I will never, ever forget that in my life. Like, um, I mean, we had bad thunder and lightning, don't get me wrong, but the thunder and lightning that we had here in Scotland was unbelievable. It was like we were in uh, Florida, in America, or 
even uh, somewhere in Africa. So sometimes, like uh, like uh, countries in Africa have like some bad thunderstorms. Oh, could that be the Vauxhall I was talking about? That was uh, very slow before. Yes, I think it is. Hey, Mr. Slowpoke, how are you doing? You're doing just well, are you? Well, I'm going to push you off again. Because I'm a savage Audi. I'm a savage Audi driver, that's who I am. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was a nice little drift there. Well, what well, was a near slip drift? I, I, yeah, a slip drift. We'll call that a slip drift right in the corner there. Oh no, oh no. Well, at least the gravel stopped me from slipping. But, wow, that was a... Uh, that's a shame right there. That was a really good uh, corner there. That's uh, how I want to take that more often in the future. Because I'm not cutting or I'm not taking it wide. No, no, don't crash! No, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's a good way to start the second half of this race. Uh, just a uh, crash right into a wall. That's just amazing. Okay, the other drivers disappeared off the face of the of the earth in this game because I'm um, not seeing them anywhere. They seem to have just vanished. I think uh, what else um, there is this, um, it's new and everything not really an awful lot just like cruising along and just uh, making sure it, oh cruising and slipping possibly oh here we have our our opponents some of them anyway let's see if we can catch up to them and see uh, who's uh, doing what Let's be a little bit sneaky. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Uh, didn't get a warning for that. For some reason. 
Why is this game being too, um, nice to me? I feel like it's being far too nice to me. By giving me all the, by not giving me these warnings. Maybe not so I Oh, right. Okay. The game I thought was going to scare me again into sliding into the walls again. Right, who have we got here? We have got a Volvo and a Ford. I'm surprised the one in the Volvos is... Uh, actually, because of uh, you letting me pass you last time, I said I'll uh, spare you. Don't push me into the grass, Ford. Thank you. God, right, okay, that was a fail on my part. I think I was that focused on the, what was going on behind me. Ryan had a thousand viewers. Oh, that's uh, brilliant. Good to hear. Uh, tell him uh, that I said uh, well done and everything like that. Um, you see, I would like to watch a stream at the same time, uh, but I don't know if I, if I can really do that right now. But uh, if you could tell him well done for me, that'd be great. Oh, actually, sorry. Hold on. Let me pause right here because I need to um, charge my laptop here. Just a second. There we go. Just so that way the laptop doesn't die on me. There we go. Right. Let's continue. We have a Nissan right here in front of us. What to do? Tempting fate for him. Oh. Oh dear, I kind of... A, did I push him on? Maybe not. And I don't think he's very pleased with what I did to him. Oh no, he's not pleased. Oh no, oh no, he's... he's oh god. Yeah, he's not happy. He is not happy with what I just tried to do to him. And he's really, he's really pissed off now. Having a beer. Uh, I'm actually um, having a cider. Um, it's a uh, recorder like, uh, and the the flavour is uh, peach and apricot. Uh, one of my uh, personal favourite flavours. Another personal favourite I have is a uh, toffee apple flavour. I don't mind having a beer. Um, uh, you know, on most occasions. I mean, beers can be uh, quite good, but uh, cider's in it for me because of the uh, fruity taste. Toffee apple, no, I've seen everything, yeah. Oh, no, oh my god. Oh. That was unfortunate what just happened there. Uh, but yeah, toffee apple flavour, yeah, that does exist. And then there's also um, other flavours like... Um, from the same company, there's also there's an iron brew flavour cider as well. Um, which, I will admit, I've tried and it's not as good as I think it is. More, it still tastes like iron brew. But the cider, not so much. There's also um, strawberries and cream one, which again isn't really good. And there's also um, marshmallow flavour one as well. 
uh, which I've tried recently, and that's a pretty good one. I can't remember the name of the company that makes them, though. That's the thing. It's not Recorder-like, and it's not um, Copperberg, because uh, Copperberg's another uh, company uh, which I quite like as well. And I think uh, they, they're from uh, they're based in Sweden, I think, Copperberg. Honestly, when this is all over, like, uh, when all this COVID crap is all over, I honestly want to, like, travel to different countries on my on my bucket list. Like, Sweden, I think, is one of them. I would, like, quite, quite like to travel to Sweden one day and uh, see what it's like. Has anybody got any, like, uh, countries they like, quite like to go to? Like, have they got, have you, any of you got in a particular, like, uh, bucket list of countries that you want to go to? Uh, hold on, uh, sorry, um, the notification just uh, popped up from my virus software. Um, will you drink until you collapse? Uh, now nah, I don't know, I mean, it depends. I mean, I've got another beer in the fridge to uh, make things a bit more interesting. I've got like a, a Scottish beer in the fridge, so I could maybe get that. <laughs> make things a bit more interesting, make, maybe make my commentary a bit more uh, uh, unpredictable as well. Because, you know, like, uh, when you get a bit, like, well, obviously with alcohol, you have quite a lot of it, then you do end up uh, <laughs> saying some interesting things. Like, hopefully I don't go that far on the stream or anything, because I don't want to get banned. <laughs> I, I don't mean it in that way. I'm not meaning it in that way. I like to visit Scotland, uh... Yeah, Scotland's a beautiful place to, to visit. I mean, it's not just uh, Edinburgh uh, where I live, but there's also, uh, you know, my home, uh, my home county, like uh, Fife, is also pretty amazing as well if you're looking for somewhere quiet to go. If you're looking for somewhere, like, quite lively and very busy, Edinburgh is quite good, but I um, I would say Glasgow as well I would recommend because it's uh, most people in uh, in Scotland are living there, over a million people in, in Scotland are living in Glasgow. Yeah, uh, stunning countryside. Yeah, uh, Fife definitely has that as well as like maybe up north, like in the the Highlands as well, and nearby Aberdeenshire, I think. Oh, somebody's uh, uh, bullying someone on the track. I like history too. Yeah, I used to like um. I used to develop quite a lot of interest in the, in the history um, at school and everything when I was there. Um, I never took on a second subject though when leaving school though. But I still quite like to do my research sometimes and uh, uh, you know, look up at histories of countries and other things that I'm interested in. Another country that's on my bucket list um, is probably... Um, I mean, I've been to Germany before once uh, to see one of my cousins who lives there. And uh, Germany's a really beautiful place. Oh, okay, right. That Peugeot was being a bit unpredictable, right. Okay. Oh my god, no! Oh, Jesus. Sorry, okay. No. Oh, that gravel's stopping me. Right. There we go. Go back. Are you a Scotch whiskey fan? I have to be honest with you, uh, mate. I've never, ever had whiskey. Um, I did smell it once before, and uh, it put me off because of how horrible it smelled. I think if I'm having whiskey, I want... Oh, Jesus, right, okay, now I got a warning for dangerous driving. Right, so you have to hit the car really that hard in order for a dangerous warning to, dangerous driving warning to happen. I believe if you get, um, how many times do you have to, like, get, um, before you, they start deducting points from you, I think it's, like, three times. And eventually, if you don't stop, you get, uh, disqualified. Oh, what the, oh, God. Okay, that was, uh, that was Nissan's fault. He tried to get me off the track, and, uh, he got he himself in the wall. His fault, not mine. My hands are clean. <laughs> but no, um, sorry. As I was saying before, that chaos happened. Um, the I would say if I were to maybe put like some coke 
in the uh, in the whiskey, like Coca Cola, within the whiskey, uh, then oh god, okay, fair enough. Uh, in the whiskey, then it maybe be a bit better. I've had uh, wine before as well, but I'm not really that much of a fan of wine to be honest with you, unless it's, if it's like sweet. But I don't really like wine to be honest with you, it's not really like my kind of drink. How about you, me? Like, uh, what sort of uh, alcohol uh, do you quite like? Or anybody in particular in like, this watching, like, uh, do you have any like, favourite, like, uh, f refreshing beverages? Like, alcoholic ones? Oh my god. Okay. This rain is gonna get the better of me, I think. I like uh, scotch very much, also real ales. Oh yeah, ale. Yeah, the real ales. Yeah, that's a pretty good show, that one. I don't think I've ever had, um, like, ale before. I've heard of a lot of them, and I've heard how good they are. Oh, don't you do- Hey! Oh my god. Right, that Ford. That Ford is gonna pay. I tried getting past him, like, politely. And what did he do? Shut me off. He's induced the road rage within me, and he's gonna pay for it. <laughs> Lots of flavours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Okay, I'm really not doing very well on this lap here. Oh, okay. What a surprise. Hey, how you doing? Oh, that better not be you in second place. If I ask him in second place, I will be shocked. I really hope that's not that Renault in second place. If it is him, I will be very surprised. If that is him, I better uh, not mess up this time. Because I know that, like, if uh, Alan Menu, if he ends up, uh, you know, overtaking me, that's not going to be good. Oh. Shoot, did I send someone out of the race with that? Because I think I hit him into the wall pretty hard. Maybe not, because they would have told me if they were out of the race. Alright, we're on to our last lap of this first race at Silverstone. <coughs> Excuse me, Silverstone. You know, a little bit lost my voice there for a little bit. And that wouldn't have been good. Oh god, right, okay. Cannot afford to screw up here. If that Renault is the one that's in second place, um, I cannot afford to screw up here. I better keep looking behind me in case he makes an appearance. Let's uh, get around this corner here, there we go. And let's uh, maybe try and make a smooth finish to this race. And we are done with the first race. Nice one. Oh my god, that was him. 11 seconds behind me. So the AI are improving. And there's all the highlights of me slipping on the track. The pole position for race two has to be decided now. So let's join the second qualifying session. 
Right, so now it's time for qualifying number two. And uh, we'll see what happens here. If I manage to get a really good time here, that would be amazing. Oh, that's not going to happen with that, though, is it? God damn it. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of that, I think I may have to go for another round uh, lap around the track. Because uh, that's uh, not very good. Unless I get really good turns here and uh, really good recovery from them, then there might be a possibility. Well, that was a bit of a smooth turn there, but not quite as smooth as I thought. Any stream plans tomorrow? Uh, yeah, there will be actually. Um, I'll be streaming. Uh, I have this idea of streaming like uh, my PlayStation uh, collection from the very beginning. Uh, so I figured I'd start with the first game that I have, like from 1995, in chronological order. So it'll be Ridge Racer, and then if I finish that within like maybe a couple hours, it'll be like a casual run through, and then I'll stream uh, Rayman as well on the same uh, stream if I can, if I have enough time. So that's uh, my plans for tomorrow night anyway, at, this, at the same time. And there we go. Right, good. That's better anyway, better-ish than last time. Yeah, much better. Oh nice, I'll be sure to draw by. Yeah, that's no problem, Sam. Your 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 support is greatly appreciated as always. Along with everyone else that's watching, all your support's greatly appreciated. Appreciated all very much. Right, I'm hoping this lap is going to be the one that's gonna give me a really good time here. Please, oh my god, don't scare me like that game, please. She was... Oh, I'm going to have to really stop right. There we go. I'll tell you that, it's fine. So, it's probably not going to be the best lap time I had, unlike last time, but you know what, it's fine. It'll make for more interesting race anyway. So, that'll do. Let's end that qualifying session now. Okay, I'm glad I went for that round the second time, so I'm in the top five yet again. Fifth place, I qualified. Binkle, of course, second, my teammate. And then uh, Al Menu got first yet again. Don't know how he does it. And now, let's join the second race of the day. So, let's see what happens in the second race. Ah, that's a better start. Good. Didn't forget to accelerate right as the green lights went on. Right, okay, I must be careful because I got a warning last time for dangerous driving. I do not want to get another one. Oh, okay, fair enough. I slid one of the Renaults off the track. I'm guessing that was Jason Plato who I shoved off. Not Alan Menu, unfortunately. My teammate is in second place. Yeah, there he is right there. Oh, God. Both of them are bullying it. Oh, wow. My teammate got first place. Good for him. But I think I want to contend for that. Thank you very much. Do you know what? I'm going to help him here. Let's help my team out a little bit. Oh god, okay. Both of them are battling out for first place. This is quite an intense battle between the two of them.
yeah, both of them are going back and forth here, trying to get first place here. I'm actually very interested to stay back and see what happens here. Something's got to give between these two. A part of me doesn't want to interfere, but a part of me just wants to overtake and let and sell this all gate. Okay, you see, look, he's speeding off again. But I've got no, no, oh, right. Thank goodness for that. I kind of slid off there a little bit, which wasn't good. So I need to try and see if I can recover from that. Okay, you go. Oh, okay, I find my teammate. Uh, well, he kind of paid the price for that. Oh, okay, where did you come from, Honda? How are you doing? Are you going to be quite defensive or am I going to have to shove you off? Looks like I'm going to have to shove you off. Goodbye. Right, let's see if I can catch up with this Renault. And see if I can uh, get first place from him. I'll need to do that as quickly as possible because he will drive off like an absolute maniac if I don't. So I need to stick to as close to him as possible. Because he is a major threat in this championship. Which is pretty, you know, realistic because, you know, in the 1997 uh, championship in real life, Alan Menu, the guy who I'm racing against right now, he actually won the championship in real life. So, it's pretty, uh, pretty identical to his performance right here, I think. Oh my god, no! What the hell? That's the same scenario I've been in again. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can maybe get him off the track here. Come on. Okay, he's... He's going to go off at some point. And there he goes. Haha. <laughs> Where the OK went right off into the gravel. Good. Stopped his momentum. And I got first place. And I should be able to keep it for the rest of the race unless uh, Menu comes along and uh, somehow gets first place back from me. But you never know. It might actually happen. It might actually happen here. Because I think he was very close to me in the last race. Let's see if we can maybe improve our lap time here uh, for this one. No, no. Oh, I'm not going to do that by doing that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, I have a feeling that he's... Oh, no, here he is. Oi! Oh, my God. Okay, he, he smashed my window. Wow, that was pretty uncalled for there. Well, well actually, no. Do you know what? No. I kind of agree with him on that, you know, I kind of was uh, savage towards him, so I think it's only fair he uh, returned the favour. So now it's going to be a real battle between him and I for, for first place here. Yeah, he's right there. No. He's right there. Plus, the other cars are catching up to me as well. You know what? I'm glad. This is a good challenge. And the next race is going to be even tougher as well on the next track. So we've got more tough competition to look forward to.
Right, this time I didn't slip like a madman. That's good. Okay, good. That's good. Didn't slip. Why? Oh. Well, I know why, but still, why me did I do that? Break way too late and then swerve. Honestly, the damage the Reynolds done there, and imagine the poor driver in that car right now is probably freezing cold. He's freezing, freezing cold from that rain. Probably is very cold, and I feel sorry for him. Ah, okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, looking at my phone there, just uh, just seeing notifications on my phone there. Okay, we have a Peugeot in front of us. Uh, actually, I better be careful here because, you know, I got warned last time. No! What? Oh my god, dude. Really? That was kind of uncalled for. <laughs> that was really... wow. He shoved me off. He's gonna pay for that. He has decided his own fate. So you know what? Get over here. Get over here. Don't you try running away from me. Don't escape your fate. Yeah, the thunder describes how angry I am at you for shoving me off like that. Mr. Peugeot. Right. Off you go. That's what you get for shopping me off. Karma. Works every time. Oh, okay, we've got a... Uh, some drivers in front of us. Uh, let's overtake them politely. Well, we're bumping into them, of course, giving them a polite bump. Lurking at the moment, mate. Yeah, that's that's fine, Stefan. That's no problem. Catching on with some YouTube vids. Yes, that's no problem. Still appreciate your support as always, so it's okay. Just uh, trying to uh, make sure I don't have too much road rage from these drivers. That's one. Oh God, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. Oh no, no! Oh my god, really? That was horrible. Very right, good. No, there's no Renault behind me. Thank god for that. Oh, 
Oh god, no, there I got. No. Oh god, no. Ah, okay, I'm smashing everywhere. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh my god. That's not good. Oh no, I have a horrible feeling. Please do not tell me that is the Renos. No, no, my worst nightmare. They're catching up. I know I said I like a challenge, but oh my god. I can't believe they are being this persistent. But it's a tense race. That's, uh, that's a good thing, though. See, it, it is important to get to the front as quickly as possible, because if you don't, then you'll probably never get to the front in this. Or it'll be practically impossible to get to the front if you don't. Alright, who do we have here that's coming up? Oh, it's our wh white box hall. And uh, what's he doing? Uh, he's just safely going around the corner. Unlike me, when I took it way too wide. Oh god, what did I do? Oh god, right, I kind of uh, turned him backwards there a little bit. <laughs> That Renault, yeah, that is Alan Menu. He is really actually he is get he's really still in my tail. I'm actually kinda worried. And I've got I'm only halfway through this race. I know I said I've got plenty of laps to recover, but I've also got plenty of laps to not screw up as well. I don't know if I maybe have regret for doing the full championship for that reason. For fear of maintaining first place. Of keeping first place. From the expert drivers here. Oh, that's a better turn there. That was much better than last time. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a better time for this lap. That's, that's good. Which means that I'm going to get further ahead of menu, so he will not catch up with me that easily. He's going to have to work harder than that to catch up with me. Yeah, that's a really good time that one. A minute 21. Fastest time I think I've ever done on this track. So we're still cruising about through the thunder. Whoa, good lord. That turn was a bit better than I thought. I did slide, but I slid for the greater good. That was a risk I took there, and I think that paid off. I didn't even break that that turn there.
Oh my god, that's even faster than last time. Oh, no. Oh, hate when that happens. Really hate when that happens. Oh, we're catching up with other drivers uh, pretty well here. And uh, we have... Oh, okay, maybe a better break, just in case. Because uh, this happened last time as well. With the same cars, I believe. With a dangerous driving warning popping up on the screen. Oh god, okay, well I sent him spinning on the end of the wall there. Well then, nah, actually no, that was his own fault. And that was his own fault as well for going into the grass. Oh, we're being defensive now, are we, Ford? What reason do you have for being defensive? Hmm? I don't think you have any reason at all, do you? I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, so I sent him into unknown territories. <laughs> Continuing on. another of Volvo in our line of path as well. Oh, jeez. I like how everybody's just taking out these marker boards like they don't need them. It's like, uh, they, we don't need any more. Oh my god, really? It's like the, the drivers are thinking at this point. At this point, we don't need any warnings. I mean, speaking of, uh, well, with well, YouTube vids earlier and everything, like, I've been, I've been watching, like, Twitch a lot more often instead of, like, uh, YouTube, because, uh, like, you know, what's more fun about Twitch is you can interact live, obviously, like, I mean, YouTube, you can still do that, but Twitch just feels more unique, if you ask me, than YouTube, because it's got a lot more unique features, plus it's more community-based as well, that's what I like about using it. It's all about helping each other out as well. Am I going to help this uh, Volvo out? I doubt, uh, I doubt very much. Or is he going to help me? Oh, this like he's helping me again. Good. It looks like the Volvos are behaving. I'm glad they are. Alright, five more laps to go and we are done with uh, Silverstone and we're moving on to the next track. Oh god, okay, in this hand, if you didn't want to break there, you shouldn't have done so. Silly Billy. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just thinking of like uh, road rage in this country, like in my mind. Like, 
that crap in the sand. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of that road rage so badly. Then again, I've always got a horn I can use. Not going to do any wonder so, but I can use the horn my press and circle like that. Not going to do anything though. <laughs> That was a wide turn I took there, but that uh, was worth paying off. And we we're taking that corner easily. Right, and uh, oh my god, no, no, oh crap. Okay, I no, not very happy that that just happened. Considering one of the Renaults could very well still be tailing me at this point. I've also been experimenting as well on my Twitch channel. I've also been experimenting with um, uh, these uh, panels. Like I, um, I've been, you know, I've only put two of them up so far, like a suggestions box and also uh, the uh, the Twitter feed as well. I've yet to add like sounds to it, which honestly I think it would be a lot more interesting if I added sounds, especially if uh, if I got like a, a new follower, for example, or maybe a new comment or whatever uh, it is that alerts the sounds. I think it'll be more interesting with the sounds when I hit affiliate because there'll be a lot more options available as well. Again, that white Vauxhall has been a thorn in my side. I hope I didn't get him out of the race there. <laughs> no, I didn't, right? I, I didn't think I would. But I need to experiment more with these panels because it's like from when I looked at the panels, there were like hundreds of them to choose from. And honestly, I'm not going to put hundreds of them on there because that'd be complete overkill. I'm only going to put the like the, the ones that are important to me on there. Because I believe, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Ryan had said to me about that. I think he spoke to me about the panels actually. Um, on the Discord. And uh, he... Uh, he gave me some good advice on that. So I've got to thank him for that. Honestly, with this session tonight, there's no way I'm going to finish this game. There's no way I'm going to finish the championship. Because it's, uh, there's 24 rounds. And I'd only be at least, I'll maybe do at least the first quarter of the uh, the championship I think well actually then again no it wouldn't be the first quarter would it no no it wouldn't be at least maybe the first tenth or no actually no six of the championship like in this session possibly oh no right okay let's maybe avoid these cars here don't want them tipping me off the track here I should have used my horn on those cars. Maybe they would have gotten out of my way. But Twitch is very interesting. It's a lot more interesting. You can form a lot of uh, experiments of what you want to do with the videos that you want and uh, the, the sounds that you have. It's just the community. I'm just very impressed by it, honestly. I really am.
Oh, is that our teammate? Yes, it is. Hey, teammate, how are you doing? You are not doing very well either, uh, although I'm in worse shape than you are. You got your back window smashed as well. I feel your pain, my friend. I feel your pain. I would not be surprised if one of the Renaults uh, smashed his window in out of jealousy. These Renaults have no manners. Such a pity. Oh no, actually no, sorry. This is rounds 3 and 4. God, I'm, I'm, I'm cracking up. So yeah, I will have the first quarter of the championship done at the very least. In this uh, session anyway. In this uh, streaming session anyway. Oh, well there goes my teammate. Well, the good, th good news is I sent him in for a soft landing. So it could have been a lot worse. I was going to say, Ford, why are you breaking so much? I think he was deliberately trying to get me another warning for dangerous driving. And that would have been, <laughs> I will give him that. That would have been fair play to him if he did manage to do that. However, sometimes the game can be very unpredictable about when you get a warning for dangerous driving. Sometimes even if I s simply touch a car, it will say, eh, eh, no, you're, you're driving terribly. You're going to get a warning for that. Which I think is very unfair if you ask me. Or maybe the game's been too sensitive. Or sensible. Right, we're on our last lap of Silverstone for the first visit. So let's see what mayhem ensues on this last lap. And is that the... Um, is that that Vauxhall again? That's the third time I think I've overlapped him, or fourth time that I've lapped him there. That's just amazing. Yeah, he really came to complete standstill for that turn there. You don't really need to do that for that turn there. Oh, God. Get out of the grass. Oh, maybe I need to get off of those, uh, those pillars there. That, right. Okay. So we're now in the last stretch, and we have crossed the finish line, and we're first again. Voila! <laughs> that was pretty funny timing, really storming, and then boom. <laughs> now the race what he was meant to say was uh, he's really storming this season, and another victory moves the team further up in the Constructors' Championship. I think that's what the quote was. For some reason, he didn't finish it. Anyway, so I go first, and then you go second, and there's all the other uh, positions there. So, good stuff. Let's see the championship standings. Lee, anything could still happen, but look who's in the lead. That was kind of a weird uh, dialogue cut there from uh, Tiff Nadell. Anyway, we've, uh, we've done a clean sweep of this track as well. What I'm going to do is... Uh, Well, actually, no, you yeah, take a bit of a few drinks of my cider, because why not? I earned it. Braxton, the fastest circuit of the championship is the scene for round five and six. The so you're right. qualifying round is just getting underway as we speak, so let's see how it goes. So yeah, as Tiff Nadell said, this is the fastest track on here. So this is going to be a game changer. And you'll see what this is all about. Not here at this bit, but it's later on. So let's uh, break at the right time here. There we go.
So it's this bit mainly, it's a straight bit, but you need to be careful here because, we need to be careful here because the, uh, it's very easy to slip as you know if you're going really fast. So I may have to brake very slightly on some of these straight bits in case I slip out. Oh my god! Right there. That's how easy it is to slip. That's a good demonstration of that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happens if you uh, don't break. So that's a good demonstration for that. Here's hoping I don't do that in the actual race. If I do that in the actual race, I will be screwed. <laughs> Right, let's uh, go across these bits here. So not a very good first lap. Let's see if we can maybe do better on the second lap of this qualifying session. Just hope that I don't screw up on the straight bit again. Or well, slightly straight bit anyway. Oh god, we got a slow goer here. But can I pass him? Yes, good. So that way he doesn't become a nuisance in my qualifying session. Maybe break here just in case I slip, because I don't want to do that. And, uh... Right, break again. There we go. Good. Much better than before. So hopefully this gives us a better time. Yeah, that's definitely going to give us a better time. So do you know what? That will do. So I send the qualifying session there. So, Alan Menu got the point yet again for pole. He always keeps doing that. I don't know how he does it. Anyway, where did I qualify? I qualified ninth with that time that I got there. So that's not too bad. The first race is about to begin. So let's get down to the track and see who gets away in the lead. So let's see what happens. So we have another 20 laps here at, um, at Thruxton. Oh god, what the hell is going on behind me here? Oh right, this Volvo is wanting to be a bit of a bully, is he? I think he might have... What the hell? Oh, he knew he slid. He knew he went completely out of control there. And off he goes. <laughs> right, let's see what the other cars, how the other cars are going to behave. So, because I'm on the neck... Oh my god, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you prick. Why did you... Nissan prick. Why did you try and slide me off the track like that? I don't know if that's maybe the alcohol making things worse in my language or what. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, yep. Good thing I braked there in case I slid. Right, uh, I'm in 7th place right now, let's see if I can maybe, right, break. Oh, god, everybody's shoving each other off the... Ah, okay. Where's the Nissan going? Oh, good god! I heard a glass smash behind me, that was a Nissan. He just smashed the Volvo up. Oh god, okay, I kind of sacrificed my teammate there to the, to the wolves. Now things are becoming a bit more intense in these races. This is why I'm doing the full one in case I screw up. And I'm more than likely going to do that here on this track. Oh my god, Honda? Right, thank you. Uh, that'll be Jason Plato that's uh, right in front of me. Back from lurking. Ah, welcome back, Stefan. I'm on the next track, as you can see right here. I'm uh, on a very fast circuit right here. 
trying to overtake these two Renault cars. This one is being very defensive though, he's not wanting to cooperate. So I'm trying to... Okay, I'll need to break a little bit in case I slide. But I'm hoping that he, he's going to be a bit more cooperative with me. See, that's how fast this track can be, you know. Okay, am I going to... Oh, okay, I'm not going to send him off the track, right? He recovered there. Okay. Right. Now we're in second. Right. Let's see if we can get past the other Renault, which is Alan Menu. You keep getting the pole point, Mr. Menu. I do not know why. Oh, off he goes. <laughs> off he goes. I didn't actually mean to hit him there, but I guess if I get first place by any means, why not? I think I may come out to home me now that I think about it. Okay, oh my god, right. I'm kind of scared on this bit. That's why I'm breaking there, because um, I do not want to have a huge accident with the car. <laughs> this car is precious to me. Alright, okay. Over then we go, and we're going to get a better time for this lap, I think. Indeed we are. Sweet. See, I always quite like Stefan, like, uh, you know, the memes uh, posts that were on the, the red, uh, not Reddit, um, the uh, Discord. Why am I getting Discord and Reddit mixed up? The the memes uh, that, were, that we're doing on there, I always quite find that amusing, honestly. Especially the Palpatine ones I'm putting up from Star Wars. I always thought those are pretty amusing. Especially the second one today that I put up um, was pretty good. All the memes we put up, and honestly, in my opinion, are very, very good. Some of them I don't quite understand, unfortunately, with uh, the Devil May Cry ones, because I've never really played that series an awful lot. Yeah, they are pretty good, yeah. Is it possible I'm going to get a better time here? Oh, just barely. Wow, I'm improving with every lap. That's honestly surprising. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Right, that scared me a little bit. Just in case. You never know. You never know in this game. It can screw you just like that at the snap of a finger. Oh god. Right, okay. That was a risk I took, but it was worth paying off. Oh jeez, I'm on the grass yet again. The reason why I did this game, I think, is because, you know, I quite like a challenge. And, uh, you know, I've done the short championship before off screen. And the full championship will be a really good challenge. And I always like to challenge myself in games. Unless if it's, well, I get, to, I guess, to a degree, Crash Bandicoot 4. <laughs> oh, that Vauxhall, the white Vauxhall has got his window smashed in. I'm not going to even speculate what happened to him earlier. But is he going to uh, be cooperative or am I going to have to get him off? Oh, well, he's slipping a little bit. Oh, he nearly got me. 
Oh, well, he paid the price for that. Oh, God, what the hell happened there? <laughs> he uh, kind of, uh, like, sped back onto the track after he... Oh, my God! Holy crap. Right, okay. Yeah, I flipped upside down there temporarily. <laughs> On my side there temporarily. That was kind of, uh... That was interesting. Let's see if I can maybe catch up with the other AI drivers there after that colossal error that just happened. Yep, I'm catching up to them ever so slowly but surely. Well, I'm lapping them anyway. Oh my god, that's the second time that's happened now. In a row. Sliding into the grass. I always seem to like to go into the grass. The car's the wheels are like a magnet to the grass in this game. Maybe better break here. What the hell is going on here, guys? Is this a traffic jam? It's not the best time to have a traffic jam here on this trait, but... Let's see if I can maybe overtake them safely. Oh, actually, no, I don't know if I can, actually. Don't want to slip here because of these guys. Oh, well, there goes the Vauxhall. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he went sliding way off the track. Oh, God, okay. Oh, good God, okay, that must have cut in front of everybody. Oh, I'm going to get sandwiched between these two cars, okay. <laughs> Ah, oh no, no. Okay, this, uh, this, this Peugeot, I don't know what, okay, I sent him off the track. What's this Nissan doing? He's, what, I'm kind of worried about what he's going to do here. Oh, I'm speeding ahead of him, right, okay, good, right. I was kind of worried he was going to try and do a, a very aggressive move and knock me off the track. Although I can't say I blame him considering I've been a bit of a jerk towards everybody on the track. I'm not a very friendly driver on this track or on this game. Probably because of my CTR, well, uh, because, because of my experience with CTR possibly. And Destruction Derby, that doesn't help without the drivers here. I we were also talking uh, earlier, Stefan, about the um, the Crash Bandicoot 4 update, and, and Ryan was like saying too little, too late, and yeah, we 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 both agreed on that. Like the hitbox is like for polar and everything, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know why they didn't put that in in the first place. It's kind of a uh, ridiculous. Yeah. That being said, something interesting I saw. On uh, YouTube, um, I think it was from a YouTube user named. Uh, it should have been on release at least in the same month as a patch, not now. Yeah, I agree, absolutely. But um, something interesting I noticed: a YouTube user by the name of uh, Wumpa Lewis had received. Uh, you know how like some of these big YouTubers receive uh, invitations, like from uh, Activision, in the in the form of Crash Bandicoot. Well, he received one, and it said apparently on the twelfth of March there's going to be some sort of announcement and I don't know what on earth that is. I don't know whether that's the release date of when they're, the next-gen versions are coming out. Yeah. Yeah, the next-gen release. Yeah, I thought so. You see, I don't know what... I actually know. I was going to say I don't know whether they get Crash Bandicoot 4 for PS5 eventually when I get one. But, to be honest, I'm just going to stick with the PS4 version. Including the PS4 and Xbox One patch. Ah, right, okay. Um, how's um, how's Ryan doing? 
on her stream, Stefan. Is he still going going well on his? Oh crap! Okay, that was no good. Yeah, doing fine. Good. Good to hear. Is he still drinking his rum, or is he not drinking anymore? Oh, he's uh, drinking more now. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the same thing after I finish the cider. Believe it or not, I still haven't finished that. <laughs> There's still more. Alright, this Volvo needs to get out of my road. Oh, shoot. I forgot you can slide on the gravel there as well. What the hell did I just do to the Volvo? <laughs> I sent him off into the nether wor worlds or something. <laughs> Stefan, you'll also be pleased to hear that, see, tomorrow, originally I was going to do Ridge Racer only as part of that PlayStation Collection series I'm starting to do on Twitch as well, but I'm also thinking of including Rayman as well, because, uh, the first Rayman game anyway, because I have a feeling that Ridge Racer I'm going to finish in maybe two or three hours. I mean, I know you've seen it before, but I think I'm redoing it anyway because, you know, it'll be a much smoother frame rate, because the last time I tried to stream it, um, I did it on my old laptop and it didn't go very well. But you'll be pleased to hear that I'll be doing uh, the first Rayman as well, like a little casual run through of that. It won't be a, uh, um, it won't be a hundred percent run because I don't know the game that well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. Absolutely. Um, I did crash and jack for like the fourth time as well on Twitch. Oh well, that's good. I mean, it's always good to come back to you know to games you like. You know, it's uh, to to put your mind at ease, especially after you've had like a rough day and everything like that. It's always good to come back to something you're familiar with. And um, we've got solo comers here again. Oh dear, on this track, right? Two Vauxhalls, and there's a red one right in front. This Vauxhall is being a bit... Oh, what's he doing? What is he doing? Right, okay. You scared me, Red Vauxhall. What are you doing? He's staying straight. Right, that's good. He is... He is oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. He's staying... Okay. He's still uh, going in a straight line. Thank goodness for that. Oh, good God. I honestly thought I was, that was going to be dangerous driving again. Alright, this Volvo, I'm seeing that he's got the, his back window smashed in. Ah, uh, yeah, he definitely has his back window smashed in. And I'm shoving him off again. Why am I being such a savage in this game? <laughs> honestly, I, I, this is honestly downright cruel of me for being such a savage. I don't know if anybody would agree with me on this. Am I cruel for being a savage? Probably. But it's entertaining, because why not? <laughs> but eventually, Karma's going to come back to haunt me for, the, for my actions in this game. Oh, good God, Ray, okay. That's the thing, Stefan. See you next time that you're streaming on your uh, Twitch. Uh, what are you planning on doing next? Um, as well as uh, the Stronghold or Crusade. What other games have you got in mind? So I'm passing my teammate there. God, okay, this is a bit of a collision and a half right here. Okay. 
Chi. I'm thinking of uh, doing Lollipop Chainsaw. Oh yeah, I remember that game. That's a good shout. I do remember that one. That was it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I do remember it. That should be a, that should be a good game to to watch. After all these years, I'm looking forward to that one when you do it. And I'll share your stream around as well on Twitch and everything like that. Keep giving giving you the support that you deserve. Maybe a better break just in case uh, anything happens to this. Uh, oh god, okay, I'm sending him off. That Honda is slightly recovered there more than I expected. I really thought I screwed him over there. Okay, time for me to enter savage mode again, I think, with some of these cars. I think so. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. So then, so then, so then. No! Oh. Well, I told you, Karma would come back to haunt me for my actions. I don't know where enough than this. I know. Oh, Jesus, wait, okay, that, eh. Uh, <laughs> that Honda went by really fast. Here comes another. Oh, God, okay, right, he uh, gave me a friendly tap on the back. I guess that's why he's, he's angry at me for trying to shove, him, uh, shove his teammate off. Speaking of which, what are you going to do about this, eh? Watch as I send your teammate flying to his doom. Hooray! Oh, God! I hope I didn't knock him out of the race on that. I don't think I did. And it looks like he's, uh, he's plotting his vengeance. Because, uh, oh well, he's not speeding up the track anyway. That being said, his teammate, I'd imagine, right in front of me is going to be fuming. Fuming with anger right now. With what I did to his teammate. I always quite like doing that to the drivers here to see if I can maybe knock one out of the race by accident. <laughs> Quote unquote accidental uh, damage to the car. <laughs> wow. I am such a savage. I don't know why. Seems like I'm showing a darker side than my persona in this game. It's kind of a scary, if you ask me. No, I'm just joking. I don't mean to be over dramatic that way. I'm wondering where those Renaults are because they haven't, uh, I haven't seen them. Unless I'm about to lap them, that would be quite surprising if I did. Oh god. Okay, whoa, okay. I slid a little bit more than usual there. Okay, good. Right, let's see if I can uh, overtake you, Mr. Honda. I do indeed. Haha. <laughs> see, I quite like you know streaming games like Crash Bandicoot and everything like that, and. But it's also quite good to do a good variety of games to like uh, see if I can get um, other people's interest as well. For example, I mean this game, at least in my opinion, um, is, doesn't really get that much attention. So I figured why not do this one like as a chosen project for myself. And uh, see if I can maybe garner people's interest. Oh god, okay, somebody's bullying someone on the track. Let's take a look at that. Oh, never mind. It seems to be that Honda that's uh, bullying that Vauxhall. I don't know why. Yeah, some sort of issue with him. 
I'd imagine after the race is over, they're getting out of their car and start pummeling each other. <laughs> On a, no, no joke, right? I've seen that happen in real life events like this. <laughs> like, honestly, when I see that, I'm just like, God damn, I really wish people would calm down. It's just a race. Well, then again, though, it is their career. So. So, I mean, then again, I can't imagine putting myself in the racer's shoes there. That's a good question, actually. For anybody who's uh, watching right now... Oh my god, really, really, really... Oh, what the hell? I, oh, stuck against a barrier. Uh, for anybody who's watching, um, have any of you ever been, like, uh, uh, go-karting at all? So, uh, since it's kind of racing related. I'm interested to hear if you've been, like, uh, go-karting before. Because um, I've been go-karting myself. And uh, it's it can be fun when it is, but it's very stressful at the same time. Because, uh, you know, if anybody, like, hits you from behind accidentally, that can be pretty scary in real life. Oh dear, I think I may be sending this... Yeah, I'm sending the Honda off. I think we're nearly approaching the end of this first race. Oh god. Right, these two Fords, fair enough. Just barge past them. <laughs> They're not important to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing those Renaults anywhere. I'm not going to overlap them, so this must mean that they're actually... Uh, oh god, right, okay, maybe better break just in case. Uh, that must mean that they're not... Uh, they're not doing very well. Or either they are, they are doing well, or I'm, and I'm not seeing them. Alright. Break. There we go. Safely around the corners again, and we're going to be heading into our final lap of this first race of uh, Thruxton. Whoa, oh my god! Okay. This gravel just doesn't do me any favours whatsoever. Or the dirt, whatever it is, from these PS1 graphics. <laughs> that are completely smoothed out on this PS3. And before anyone wonders, the 20 that's slightly off screen, it's supposed to be like that, unfortunately, because unfortunately they couldn't fit the word, uh, they couldn't fit the word? They couldn't fit the, the full number on the screen there when they developed it. It's the same on the PS1 as well, itself. They couldn't quite uh, fit it in. I think maybe if they made the font a bit smaller when they developed it, they could have uh, fit it in on the screen. Okay, and uh, successful uh, last lap there. Despite a little slip there, and we've won. The new Audi driver has done it again, taking the checkered flag in style. Here's the final position. Oh yeah, now here's highlights of me spinning out. So I won over nearly a minute on menu there. That's pretty amazing. My teammate unfortunately finished 8th place from the slip that he had. And there's the rest of the results right there. So, it's time for our second qualifying session. We shall see who snatches it this time, Tiff. We shall see. Okay, managed to get around that corner there pretty nicely. Oh, let me just uh, pause here a little bit, just so I can uh, just refresh the computer there a little bit. There we go. 
just to make sure that it doesn't like go into a screensaver or anything like that because I haven't moved the mouse for some time now. Or the cursor for some time now, should I say. Really should get my technical terms right. Right, so if this first lap goes well, I'm going to end the qualifying session early and then we'll start our next race. Oh, that went much better than last time. Let's end that. What position did I get? Well, there was very little in it, so we should be in for an excellent race. Right then, so I got 7th place with that uh, time there, that's pretty good. Much better than last time anyway, and Menu gets to the pole point yet again. How does he do this? <laughs> How does he do it? I have no idea. Anyway. So, second race, let's do this. As a matter of fact, before I continue, I think I'm reading something on the Discord here, getting any new mentions. Sorry, let me just see here. Ah, right, okay. Right, fair enough. Sorry, I thought like uh, I maybe missed something quite important on the Discord there, and I did miss a few messages. I'll look at them again when I uh, f uh, finish the stream off. I just thought I maybe missed something like extremely, extremely important that like maybe I forgot to do. Uh oh, the other cars are really being hostile now. <laughs> maybe get around this corner safely, and uh, what are they gonna? Oh God, what are they gonna do there? Right. Okay, so everybody's uh, all lined up in a single file there. So I should be able to finish the first quarter of this uh, championship in this uh, stream tonight. And hopefully if I have enough time, maybe I can do round 7 and 8. Uh, depending on uh, what time it is uh, after I finish the race. I should be able to do uh, round 7 and 8. Oh my god, you, you bastards, don't you dare shove me off the track. No, no, don't you dare. I know I, know I shoved you all off, but not at this stage. No, no. Alright, okay. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Right, that in the sand. That in the sand. Yes, that in the sand. He's gonna pay. What the hell is his problem? Is this the same Nissan that I shoved off the track earlier that I slid into the wall? Oh, possibly. It may very well be the same one. If that's the case, well, he has a point, but... I'm going to return the favour. So now I have a challenge on my hands. A real challenge on my hands. Okay, this... Do you know what? Go in front of me. Don't want you shoving me off. I'd rather, like, let him in front a little bit. It's better than him shoving me off as well, so that way I don't have two drivers to take, to take care of. Oh my god, maybe that was a bit close for comfort there. And... Oh, crap. Okay, I somehow didn't get warned for that. I coolly drove right into the back of him and smashed his window. He didn't deserve that. Oh, here's that in the sand. Right. Vengeance is mine. I'm coming for you. You're gonna go down. I'm I'm nearly close to you. Right. This is what you get. Aye, surprised to see me, eh? Well, this is what you get. 
Oh, okay, Vengeance wasn't quite satisfied there. Not satisfying enough. Come on, you. I'm gonna get you off that track. Just like you got me off earlier. Maybe not on this bit, but you got me off the track nonetheless. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That's what you get. Hopefully that teaches him some, uh, some manners. Let's see if we can catch up to the other drivers here, shall we? So there's my teammate in fourth. How are you doing? And thank you for letting me pass. Thank you for letting me pass. Sounded like a snake there for some past. <laughs> okay, one of the Renaults is in third place. That'll be Jason Plato, I'd imagine. Is he going to go off? Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, it's seen me. Oh, crap. I'm going off as well. Oh, he recovered very quickly there. Oh, and my teammate really caught up pretty quickly there. Good for him. I'm now really worried about Al Menu because uh, he's going to be off in first place in the other Renault and he's probably going to be having jet fuel in his car right by now and ahead of all the others. Okay. Oh, crap. Right, okay, well, I kind of uh, s smashed my way up to, into third place. But I did it. That's good. So I'm on the podium now at the very least. God, no, no. Right. Thank goodness. Right. I was going to say, if I slid on that, that would have been very disappointing. I'm going to take a guess at how ahead menu is. I'm going to guess maybe 15 seconds. Oh, no, he's three seconds. That is surprising. I honestly thought he'd be far ahead oh, up the road there, but I was wrong. I have still have a chance to get first place here. Yeah, he's right there. He's very close. Yeah, he's practically there. I've nearly got him. Hello, Mr. Menu. How are you doing? You are kind of a... He's sort of behind me. He actually allowed me to overtake him cleanly. Yeah, that's very surprising. I guess he was a, I guess he was a, that alarmed that I caught up to him. And he's going to try and do everything he can to get first place back, but he's not going to get it. He will never get this place. Oh my god! I said, oh my god, no. <laughs> Jesus. He will never get this place back. What did I do? Crash into the wall. Of course I do. Ah, okay, that Honda sort of barged past me there. Oh my god, no. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe that that just happened. I'm down the fourth. As I said, it's a good thing I'm doing a lot of laps on this so I can make up for my mistakes. Okay, right. I sort of uh, walked up a little bit there with the steering. My back up to third. All right. 
right, okay, I bumped up to second. Oh, hi Shebby, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. You're just uh, seeing some intense racing action going on here, trying to catch up to one of these uh, these Renaults and oh, one of these uh, cars up here and I think it may be blocked by the slow traffic. Uh oh, right, okay. Yeah, he's been blocked already, I have a chance. Thank you, slow traffic in last place for blocking him there. I'm actually really glad about that. Yeah, he is, wow. Everybody's just bullying each other in this, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened to that, that Ford there? That was a... Uh... How are you this evening? Uh, yeah, I'm doing well, thanks, uh, Shebby. Uh, how are you doing? Okay, good. I'm really glad that the traffic there in last place, or the cars in last place, um, blocked um, Alan Menu. There, the one in the Renault car, the blue and yellow one. Because uh, he's, he's a pest in this game. He's very persistent. Okay, yeah, I better be careful with this tree bit. Uh, pretty well, aside from the share breaking. Oh dear. Sorry to hear about that, Shebby. That sucks. Hopefully, uh, you're able to get um, someone to. I mean, well, I know and, and, uh, at this time it's, it's pretty difficult to get someone to fix it and everything, but. Hopefully it's, it's not like a major or anything, is it? Like, um, what happened to to show or anything? Hopefully it's nothing, like, major. But no, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear about that. So, uh, what do we have here? A uh, fun short story, I broke with the water on, so it ran for an hour after I was done, and the maintenance guy shut the water off and then broke it even more. Huh. That's, uh, that's very bizarre, that one. Um, I'm not really a huge expert on that, to be honest with you, Shebby, um, but hopefully, hopefully something uh, will be sorted uh, about that soon enough for you. I'll keep my fingers crossed that it gets better. Yeah, he walked in with the knob in his hand and went, oops. That really doesn't seem very right, honestly. I mean, if it were, I mean, that does that definitely doesn't sound like a simple mistake, honestly. I mean, I may be being a bit judgmental, I do apologise if I am being a bit judgmental, but that's very strange. Never heard of anything like that. That's, uh... That's a bizarre one. Okay, we got this Nissan right in front of me. Am I going to send him into that wall again? I am indeed. Oh, God. Right, okay. That was a horrible crash I heard in my headphones. Okay, he recovered from that. I am surprised. I'm very surprised that I'm... Oh, God. Right, okay. I'm sliding into the grass. Um, I'm very surprised that this I'm recovered from that onslaught that I gave him by sending him into the wall. I know, I was very confused as well. Yeah, I'm just as confused as you, Shebby, about that. If I had a problem with that with my shower, I would have been just as confused. But yeah, hopefully uh, things will get better for you, your shower soon. Um, uh, hopefully it can get fixed uh, soon enough. Or ASAP. So 
such a pity that my car can't go any faster than 144 miles an hour. Well, actually, no, I did go 146. That's the fastest I can go. Imagine if I had the blue flames from CTR Nitro Field on this. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, right. Well, that was, uh, that was, that crash was uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. I honestly thought it would slide out after that. Oh no, yeah. Yeah. Right, bear break, just in case, just in case I slip. Because we have two cars coming up. We have got a blue one, which will be the Ford, and we've got the, a white one coming up, which I'm assuming is the, uh, the Vauxhall. One of the Vauxhalls, anyway. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, basically that's the manufacturers of, like, uh, each car in the United Kingdom. Like, the one I'm driving is, like, an Audi. M A four. Yeah, and that was right as a Vauxhall and uh, and a Ford right there. And yeah, the other ones uh, the Honda, the Volvo, the Nissan, the Peugeot, and the Renault, all being represented in the nineteen ninety seven British Touring Car Championship. Uh, the sport there from nearly twenty five years now. That's, uh, that's bizarre, really, uh, well, actually not bizarre. That's really scary to think about, honestly, you were 25 years since this game came out. And back then, fun fact here about this game, actually, it was actually considered, before the first Gran Turismo came out, this game was actually considered to be the best uh, driving game on the PlayStation 1, before Gran Turismo came out. That was something I didn't know until recently. Which I was very uh, fascinated about. We've got another good time on our hands. Great. So another fastest lap time. God, okay. Oh, we have some more AI cars to have fun with. Nice. Who do we have? We have a Volvo and a Peugeot, a Ford and a red Vauxhall. Uh, why are you braking, Volvo? What's going on? Well, I mean, then again, I know you have cars in front of you, but just, just barge away past them, honestly. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I just saw that the Peugeot and the Volvo were bullying each other back then. They were just shoving into each other. Oh crap, right, okay. Alright, this Ford is uh, in front of me right now. Is he going to be defensive? Not really. He's going to be shoved off pretty easily. Oh, actually no. He did uh, manage to keep his, uh, keep his wheels on the track. Good for him. Oh god. I know he had that... that that turning sign right there. Imagine that that happened. Crash. Boom bang. No pun. Uh, yeah, I know. Why did I say that? Crash. Boom bang. <laughs> oh god. For those who, uh, 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 thumbs up to those who get the reference. Uh, what I just uh, tried to make a pun of out of there. I found enough looked up gameplay of that recently. Crash. Boom bang for the DS and uh, oh. Yeah, it is no good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look good anyway. Oh, God, right. That's, uh... I'm always so scared on this straight but... After those couple of turns, it's smooth sailing from here on out until this bit. 
again. Oh my... Oh. What is it with me and jinxing? What is it with me and that? We seem to have a very, very bizarre friendship, jinxing and myself. It always seems to come in when I least expect it. <laughs> it is very bizarre when that happens. I can't explain it. I believe in the UK, funnily enough, in this championship there's only one track in here that's actually in Scotland, funnily enough, where I live. And, uh, it's at um, Knock Hill, which is in Fife. So that is a track in this game, believe it or not. Uh, most of it is set in, uh, down in England, but there's one track in Scotland that's going to be in this championship. It won't be for the stream tonight, but it'll probably be for maybe another stream. Uh, maybe next week. Just a little fun fact for you. Okay, this Volvo's... Uh, oh, what did I do to him? I don't know what I did to him, but he uh, sort of disappeared a little bit. Oh, he's coming back. Oh god, okay. <laughs> I, s I gave my teammate some very... Uh, that wasn't very nice of me. I sent my teammate off the track all for myself but it's all about just you know being every man for himself in this uh, the, in this sport so i'm going to make a name of that i'm going to really make a uh, make that happen right no you're not doing that to me again that same this and that shoved me off earlier yeah it's not happening you got lucky one time lightning's gonna not gonna strike twice for you There's another one. It's his twin brother. Hey, how are you doing? Other than this hand? You're not gonna... Oh, okay, thank goodness he didn't shove me off. So we got, we're reaching the home stretch of this, oh my god, we're reaching the home stretch of, um, of this um, track here, so we've got three more laps after this to go, and then we are done with Thruxton, and a uh, quarter of the way through the, uh, the championship mode. Alright, what do we have here? We have a Honda... That's going to overtake him pretty easily. So, uh... We're seeing the last of the straight bits here. Okay, maybe I better break a bit because I don't know what's going on here with these cars. They always seem to be very careful on this, but I mean, to a degree, I don't blame them because it's very easy to spin your car off. But at the same time, though, don't be too careful because it's uh, kind of spoiling it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. No, no, no. Oh, for God's sake, really. That was lame. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I lost my, uh, my bonnet. There's the results. That's what I get for crashing into that sign stupidly there. And the Honda ended up smashing into the back of my car. Because of my huge mistake. I think I'm wanting a little bit of retribution on this Honda for doing that to me. Uh, if he's... Yeah. Unless if he will, he looks like he's uh, sliding, sliding off a little bit. That's uh, kind of bizarre that he's doing that on his own. <laughs> Looks like the front of that Honda had his front smashed in as well. Alright, we're on our final lap here at Thruxton as a whole. Let's see if this last run of this final stretch, uh, well, for the time being, that is, because our second visit will happen very later on in the championship. Alright, so we are nearly done with this race. So that last straight bit went quite well there. Now it's all a matter of just this this big turn right here going quite well. Oh, it nearly went. Oh, come on, no! Oh my god. I just had to end that with a bang, didn't I? And I mean that literally, because I nearly flipped upside down there. <laughs> oh my god, really. By one, nonetheless. Seriously, have to show that. <laughs> oh my god! Revoke this man's driver's license, like that. <laughs> yeah, you said it, Stefan. You said it. Oh my god! I can't believe they showed the highlight there. Certainly looking good, all right. Okay. So we're a quarter of the way through. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is the this last race, uh, this next race will be the. So at this end of the first quarter of the championship, and here's some uh, cheats as a reward: CM stars, CM no hits, CM micro. I think I remember some of these cheat codes. What they do So I think CM stars is like at night time. And CM Micro, I think, is like to do with a Micro Machines mode. Yeah, so I think this this next race will be the last one for the stream tonight. Brands Hatch is today's venue for round seven and eight of the championship. Qualifying for the first race is due to start, so let's see who comes out on top. Now, Brands Hatch, this track is... I think the shortest out of all the tracks, hence why there's more laps. And hopefully I get a really good time out of this track. Or a good qualifying time anyway.
Oh crap, right, okay, I sort of slid off the, the track a little bit there, but it's okay. We'll see if we can make a good comeback out of this. Let's see if I can maybe do a little bit better. If I slide, then I'll just end the qualifying session and start the first race at Brands Hatch. Okay, that's already... Oh, God, no, we've got bloody traffic on the road. This is where it's going to be a little bit complicated because this track's a bit thinner to overtake drivers. Okay, I just barely passed him there. God's sake, really, that's the second time that's happened. One more, yeah, I'm going to go for a final lap here. Because uh, that's ridiculous. That's the, that's the second time I slid on that corner there. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. sake, Nissan, move out of my way. Oh, do you know what? End. The new Audi driver did well, and is up there with the front runners. Well, okay, I that was a lot better than I thought. So I'm I'm up in fifth place for the for this race, which is good. Uh, menu once again gets the pole point. So we are going to be starting our first race, and it's going to be 38 laps of mayhem, 38 laps of. 38 laps of destruction, possibly. So let's see how this goes. Brands Hatch. I remember this one because it is quite a chaotic track, this one. Especially with all the cars on this. See, look, everybody's nearby sliding off. That's how, that's how um, mad this track's going to be. And I think it's a good uh, track to end uh, the two races. The um, uh, last two races here are going to be a good way to end the stream off, I think. So look right there, that ran a win and the grass on his own accord. Okay, that's, yeah, there we go. Get him off there. <laughs> that's what you get. But yeah, Stefan, I think you're right. I think I need, I think I need my driver's license revoked like right now. Because, uh, you know, dangerous driving, shoving people in the walls. Those are the two reasons why. See, that's how short this is. Like, uh, I'm only, I'm also completing these laps in, like, less than a minute. That's how short this track is going to be. Was that turn that gets me? Oh my god, really? I'm in the gravel as well. And after I finish these two races, I will end the stream off and then we will find uh, somebody to raid. Who that will be, I do not know. That depends on uh, who's online. As a matter of fact, actually, now that I think about it, um, if there's anybody online there, for anybody who's uh, wa still watching, if there's anybody that, uh, that's online, um, by the time this is over, that you want to see me raid, then by all means, uh, feel free to give a shout for that. And I'll look through my followers list as well. To see if there's anybody that's streaming. Maybe Ryan might still be streaming at that point because, you know, sometimes he's gone for five or six hours on the CTR and Nitro Field. Oh god, okay, I nearly... 
Right, good. At least that corner was better. I took that much better now. Yeah, each lap is getting faster and faster. Could I maybe go uh, do the gotta go fast theme for Sonic X soon if I, if I keep going at this rate? Go Sonic boom across the track? Oh no. That would actually crash the game now that I think about it. <laughs> A sonic boom across the track. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know whether it's just me just feeling even happier than usual tonight or whether it's the cider that's causing this effect. I don't know. It could be both. Could be a combination of both of them, honestly. Okay, right, there we go, managed to get around that. Not very sm as smoothly as I thought, but got around it nonetheless. See, I want to try and support as many people as I can on Twitch, uh, but trying to switch between multiple tabs at once, that's another task altogether. <laughs> I seem to be catching up with the uh, the drivers on last place. Heck, for how long this race is, I think I could lap everybody, and I could come up with some interesting results. Uh, there's one thing you guys haven't seen yet, actually, and that's what happens if you knock somebody out of the race, because you know I saw like. You saw me, like, getting flipped upside down a couple of times on the uh, Thruxton. Uh, but we'll see what happens if maybe somebody gets flipped upside down in the uh, Brands Hatch. If I can manage it. Oh, God. Okay, right, well, that Peugeot saw did a bit too much there for my liking. I ended up uh, crashing into the back of him. Is he going to go? Oh, he's bumping off a little bit. Come on. Are you going to go off the track? Yes, you are. Yep, off he goes. For a little ride in the grass. <laughs> oh, no, so am I. God damn it. I uh, knocked over the... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy crap. I guess that's what I get for shoving him into the grass. Bloody hell, that was a... <laughs> that was a... That was a crash and a half, I have to say. I'm also surprised that this car is still functioning right there after the hit that it took. Puns, yeah, aye. <laughs> that's what he gets. Aye, that's what you get for sh smashing into my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened to that Vauxhall? Okay, he uh, kind of uh, went off the track. Don't know if all of these drivers are really, you know, getting off the track on purpose to try and get me disqualified. Imagine me getting disqualified from the championship. Nah, that won't happen. I will not get disqualified. Okay, 
out goes that no sand what happened to him there okay he just went off on the gravel Oh, okay, nearly slid off there again. Oh god, okay. I don't know what this forge trying to accomplish here, but he, whatever he's doing is not working. And I will show him that it's not working. There you go, that's why it's not working. Don't know what happened to, to that forge there. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? I didn't even see that wall there, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I'm not going to hit my teammate, he doesn't deserve any bad treatment from me. No, oh, well then again, that was his own fault for sending himself off, because he, he bumped in the back of me. That was his doing. My hands are clean. There's no blood on them. No. <laughs> There's no blood on them. Good God. There's no way. Uh... That's twice now I've had a Ford in the same wall. I think I really am trying to make this ruthless, aren't I? Like a ruthless, ruthless racing contest. Let's see. Whoa, okay. Right, that puzzle's going off into the grass. Right. Good. He sort of let me pass on his own accord. Thank goodness for that. I thought he was going to be a problem there. But he was not a problem. Thank goodness. This could be another fast lap here. If it is, that'd be amazing. Another new record. Is it going to be? It is. Sweet. That's probably the fastest lap of time I'm ever going to get on this track. I don't think I've ever gotten any faster than that time. Unless if I take a risk and not break it, so I'm going, oh my god! Why did I just say that? Take a risk. Oh, good god! <laughs> right. This Peugeot keeps giving me jump scares all the time. He needs to stop that. God damn it. There's like my Five Nights at Freddy's again, with the uh, the Pusher just popping up out of nowhere behind me. <laughs> Instead of being Bonnie, let's say the the Pusher car, the green car. All right, let's go around the corner. Oh wow, how that was faster, I do not know. Only a tiny little bit, anyway. Gonna give him a little visit because he tried to scare me earlier. Unintentionally. Oh god, right, okay, I slowed down a little bit too much there. Oh, is that gonna be another content? Oh, no, quite. Never mind. Oh, okay, oh, he slid as well. Right. Well, what did I do to him? Okay, right, I sent him off into the gravel. Oh. So I'm nearly halfway through this race already. That's a uh, pretty... Uh, that's really scary, actually, how fast this has gone. Oh my god, you, oh, you idiot, you Nissan, oh my god, I think I smashed the side of his windows there because he just went so slow in the corner. The bloody idiot. <laughs> the 
get another ball. What do you mean get another ball? Get another ball of cider, you mean? I'll double your vision and what? I'll double your vision and make it. I'll double your vision, and make it twice as well. Oh my god, really? <laughs> no, I'm stuck in a good old war. I've had enough alcohol for tonight, to be honest. I've already had two ciders tonight. I'm um, I'm not pushing it any further. Fair enough, mate. Yeah, because um, you know, sorry, I need to. Okay, there we go. Um, just need um, I didn't want to like you know say things because you know when when you can be like a little bit drunk and could say things you might regret, and I don't want to end up saying anything that could possibly get me, <laughs> could possibly get me banned from uh, from Twitch. Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing so much at that for some reason. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> It's going to be interesting to see, look back at my reaction here. Oh god, oh my, right. The only other thing I have in the fridge was uh, like a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, no, not that, not that. Um, the only other thing I had in the fridge was... Um, uh, a can of a uh, of beer. Ah, okay. Maybe I better stop messing around because other drivers could actually catch up and overtake me if I keep screwing up like this. Ah, for God's sake, Pujo, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, honest to God, the Puzos have been a thorn in my side throughout this championship so far, and I don't know why. It is, honest to God, I think I'm going to create an ongoing feud with them, because they keep on messing around with me. And here I thought the Renaults were going to be the problem, not the Puzos, the green cars. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I keep it in the... Oh my God. I keep on hitting the walls, I keep on going on the grass, I never, ever am driving on the asphalt. This is really driving me nuts. Well, I do drive on the asphalt, I'm just not paying attention. Oh my... Okay, whoa. It's really recovered from that one pretty quickly. Really, Jesus. Oh. Wait, is that like every race? That has happened. Like, look, look at the state of my Audi. It's like completely. Well, it's not completely mangled, but it's mangled enough, in my opinion. How on earth did I manage to? Pardon me. Sorry, that cider I'm drinking. I think. Um, how on earth did I manage to get in this state? In every race. Oh, because that's what it's all about. It's trying to make sure you get up to the top as much as you can by any means. Let's see if I can find any uh, any more troublemakers on the track, <clears throat> aka my opponents. Uh, 
There's a red Vauxhall right there. Are we going to catch up to him? Hmm, I think so. Because he seems to be going pretty slow around the corners. Yeah, there he is. Right. Hello there, Mr. Vauxhall. How are you doing? You're doing well, are you? Good. Friendly handshake or friendly bump. And, uh, fare thee well. <laughs> That's where I like my, uh, my conversations with the cars anyway. Fare thee well. And they just slide off. Don't know why I, I actually greeted them like a pirate or send them off like a pirate. Okay, there we go. Good little corner there. Oh, I'm catching up to a lot of cars here. Who am I catching up to? There's a Ford. Yeah, another blue Ford in my way. Oh, there he goes. Well, he's sliding out of control. Oh, then again, though, maybe not. I thought I was maybe catching up to, like, the Renaults instead of the Honda. Uh, Honda. But no. Get my hopes up a bit too high, I think. And uh, let's make our way around the bend. Don't slide, thank you very much. Right. Is, um, how's uh, Ryan getting on uh, just now? Stefan, is he still going on okay with his uh, stream at the moment? Oh, God. Oh. oh, I'm completely out of bounds on that. Alright, there we go. Managed to get over there. Just hope it hasn't cost me anything. Oh, yeah, he's doing fine. Got a couple of new followers. Oh, nice. Very good. I'm glad to hear you got a couple of new followers. He deserves them. Hopefully he gets up to partner uh, fairly soon as well. Because I think he deserves it. I'm still really trying to like... I mean... I've um, done a few promo promotions here and there for myself over on Twitter, maybe not as much as I um, have, uh, you know, have required to do so, but I've, uh, I've, I have tried, and I've gained like a, you know, up 47, but I just need a three more for that affiliate status. But I have to ask Stefan, how are you finding affiliate status since you earned it? Um, are you quite enjoying it? Like uh, what you've uh, got to do? Oh yeah. Oh that's good, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it because you did talk about the uh, the channel points quite a lot. And the, the channel points are very interesting. I mean, when I looked at Ryan's stream before you got it and uh, so many new stuff I can do. That's good. I'm really glad uh, to hear that, Stefan. And uh, I look forward to that day as well when it happens for me uh, soon enough. I set up some channel points and now some emotes. All very good. Um, so I take it the emotes you set up, um, are they like specific to the games themselves that you play? Or are they um, 
general emotes that you've set up for uh, any stream that you've uh, that you've done. Or oh god. Uh, yeah, man, you'll get there very soon. Well, thank you very much, Stefan, for your for your encouragement and your support as always. Set them up for a uh, stronghold crusader. Is that right? Yeah, but also some uh, generic ones. Ah, right, okay. It makes sense considering like you're focusing quite a lot on the uh, stronghold crusader. It's uh, it makes sense to make some uh, emojis specifically for that. And interestingly enough, I caught up with one of the Reynolds. And maybe... Oh. Okay, I only sent him into the wall there. I honestly thought I would have got him out of the race with that. For now, yes. Uh, since that one takes the longest. Now that I think about it, maybe comparing this game, like this game's field championship to Stronghold Crusader is maybe not a good idea. Considering I'm, once I've done this, I'll be like a third through the championship. And as I said, I'm not doing the talk of showdown because it's essentially the same championship. And I don't want to repeat that. But after I've done that, I'll show off like some extras, including the cheat codes. Every single one of them. So that'll all be done in the stream as well. So you get to see some uh, cool stuff and some very funny stuff as well. Even funnier than this, like what you're seeing with all the cars I'm shoving into the wall. You think this is funny? You haven't seen anything yet. Or with me shoving the cars into the wall anyway, and just me crashing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Come on, don't screw up now. I've got seven more, eight more laps to go. I'm approaching the end of this one. I don't want to screw up now. If I screw up now, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I think I remember actually playing this off screen once, and I remember somebody getting eliminated from the race. Normally, when somebody gets eliminated, the driver's name normally says, like, say, for example, Jim Bencliffe, my teammate, is out of the race. I would normally say that on screen. And I'm like, oh god, okay. So eliminations can happen in this race. It's just very rare it happens. But if you turn on certain cheat codes, it actually is pretty regular. Oh no, right, okay. Yeah, it's actually pretty regular if you turn on the certain cheat codes. Wait a minute, was that just me or did I see some green fog in there? Maybe that was a graphical glitch that I saw there. But also some green fog there as soon as I turn left. It's amazing the graphical glitches you can find in the PS1 games. That just shows you how aged the, the graphics are. Sometimes some graphics on PS1 games though are still very good to this day. Like for example, like some examples are like your know, Rayman 1, Crash Bandicoot 1, um... Uh, the Crash Bandicoot series as a whole, like, uh, the graphics haven't aged, in my opinion, one bit. They're still, like, very good. Even Spyro, as well, for that matter, hasn't aged in terms of, the, of his graphics. At least in my opinion, anyway. I'm not sure if anybody will agree with me on that. So, where are we going? Oh, there's another fort. Oh, for God's sake, really? Why did I just do that? Am I deliberately trying to lose lose my uh, my left or my right wing mirror there? Looks like I am trying. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh shoot. Oh dear. Not good at all. Oh no. Oh. Nearly flipped upside down there actually from uh, going on that up a little bit.
I'm thinking what I might do as well for tomorrow is I'm going to set up my stream schedule for uh, next week. That green fog appeared again. Um, I don't know what that means, to be honest with you, but it's a graphical glitch. Anyway, um, as, I said when, uh, as I was just saying, I think tomorrow I think I'll set up my uh, stream schedule for, um, for this coming week. Um, since I'm back to work again uh, a few times, what I might try and do is I'll see if I can maybe stream more than at least twice a week. And instead, what I might do is see if I can maybe try like maybe three times and work my way up from there and uh, see how I get on with that. Or maybe four. It depends. Uh, I figured that maybe four streams a week might do again. Depends on how I'm feeling when I, when I do them. Because, you know, I, I've really liked streaming, like, an awful lot. I really enjoy playing the games and showing them all to you. And then interacting with all of you is just amazing. It's just absolutely spectacular. It's a different experience from uh, from YouTube videos. Stream when you can, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, play what you want to play, yeah, absolutely, yeah, I agree. So, uh, go back to the race. We are approaching our last lap now on the first race. That's why I do, yeah, I. I mean, I try and, like, go to the schedule if I can, like, to keep myself organized. I mean, that's just me personally. To, to go to the schedule and just, like, you know, keep myself organized and keep my viewers informed of what's uh, going on. Oh, God, okay, that's a bit of a collision there. Okay, this isn't the sound going to go into the wall. Oh no, he's just going off into the grass for a wee ride. <laughs> for the wee ride, aye. <laughs> my wee, my little Scottish accent coming out there again. Okay, I screwed up there a little bit, but hopefully... Uh oh, right, okay. That Vauxhall's not too happy with what I did to him, but that doesn't matter because I'm about to win the race. And uh, the first race is done. So, that went quite well. Um, so I managed to finish first there. It took uh, half an hour there to complete the race with all the uh, the laps I had to do. But there was some plenty of mayhem on the track there. Menu got second. Uh, Bincliffe, my teammate, got seventh. And there's the rest of the results right there. So, it's qualifying time once again for the second race and the final race of the stream as well. So hopefully this qualifying session will go better than last time. Now that I've had the experience in that first race. Okay, that seemed to be, uh, that, seemed, that turn seemed to go a bit better than I thought, honestly, despite the slip I had. Please don't slide on this bit, thank you very much. I am actually really glad that I didn't do that. Alright, that's good. Let's see if we can do better. These cars on here, though, that's going to be a game changer. No pun intended. Alright, good. Passed him pretty easily. That's good. <gasps> no, no, no. Alright, do you know what? Screw that. End that. All in all, a good session for the new Audi driver. Qualifying with the front runners. Wow, fifth place once again. Honestly, if it wasn't for that slip, I could have gotten a much better time. Fair enough. Qualify fifth once again. That's good. And now, let's join the second race of the day. Alright, here we go. Well done, Mia. Thank you very much. 
But oh, I'm a little bit disappointed there because if I hadn't slipped, I could have possibly gotten the pole point there, an extra point there for the championship, but alas, didn't happen. Oh god. Okay. Everybody's just uh, ramming into each other in that first turn. So you follow us for affiliate. Pog, yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey Leo, how you doing? Welcome to the to the stream. How you doing tonight? Oh, that's now been two days now that I've streamed now, because now it's just gone over midnight. That's uh, pretty impressive. So it is going to go on for a little bit longer, the stream, uh, uh, because of uh, this last race. Oh, my teammate's actually in front, actually. Good for him. Do you know what? Oh, actually, no, this Renault is kind of angry that he's not got uh, first place. That'll be Alan Menu. Uh, so what else do you need besides uh, two more followers? That's all I really need, to be honest, mate. It's only three followers. Everything else I've still achieved. I've kept an eye on my statistics and, or, well, achievements for that. And that's all I need. Yeah, that is very nice, yep. All I need is three. Just a simple three. And that's it. In the meantime, I need to go around this track 37 more times. But... Hopefully we can maybe get some uh, really good uh, highlights along the way. Oh, I'm good, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Leon, I completely missed your comment there. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, it's good to hear that you're doing well as well. Sorry, got caught on all that mayhem from the first lap. I didn't even see the chat, or I didn't even read the chat there. Because <laughs> everybody was just mauling each other on the first lap there. All the cars were just murdering each other on the first lap. And so hide for you, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, I greatly appreciate that. Right, let's see if we can slide over. There we go. Good, smooth corner there. Can't wait for you to... Uh, yeah, I can't wait either. Can't wait till the day happens. So many things to explore after that happens. Oh, that's a really good time for... Wow, that's my fastest time yet on the track, 42.66 seconds. Then we go again, oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, that green fog must be a glitch of some sorts. I don't know what the hell that is. No! Oh, That's not really good to slip that early. Just hope that there's nobody behind me that's in second place. Okay, right, good. It doesn't seem to be anybody. That's good. So I've still got a chance. Cheese. No, not this. <laughs> Did I just say cheese? Oh, cheese. <laughs> not taking a photograph of myself. <laughs> or maybe it was cheese I saw it on from the graphics. Nah, nah, I'm just joking. It's not cheese. Imagine if it was. <laughs> it, would just, it would just melt under the tires. Just become, it would become mozzarella. Yeah, thank you very much, Shebby, for that as well. Greatly appreciate your support as well. I look forward to the day it happens myself, and I'm pretty excited about it.
So, where are we in terms of a... Uh, oh, whoa, okay. Anybody care to take a guess what the green fog might mean in this game? I mean, I know obviously, like, realistically, it's a graphical glitch. Anyone want to take a fun venture guess, like, on what that green fog might mean? That what, um, what you're seeing on the screen sometimes when I'm turning the corners? Could be a foreshadowing or something, possibly bad luck, good luck, who knows. See, I keep seeing. Oh, do you know what I think is happening? It's probably the trees forming. So the trees in this game are made of green fog. That's, uh. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. Or the buildings anyway. Oh, it, it's probably just loading textures for the uh, all the buildings. So who do we have here? We have got a Peugeot, the green car. Yeah, you've been giving me. Oh my god, no. Well, that slip ruined everything. I was gonna have some fun with this Peugeot, but no, I decided to slip. I decided to give him the slip. Oh, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Give him the slip. Because I slipped myself. <laughs> of course. Let's see if I can catch him again. Should be able to. Right, there we go. And uh, let's see if we can get him again. Where are you, mate? The Peugeot. Ah, there he is. The green car. Now, as I was saying before, I've rudely interrupted myself and gave myself to slip away from you. You have been giving me jump scares throughout the last race, and I kind of wasn't too happy about that. So, consider this my sort of vengeance. Yes. That's my sort of vengeance on you there. Maybe not as satisfying as I thought, but still. It felt good nonetheless. Right, who's going to be my next victim on this race? Or shall I spare them? Oh my god. I could have made, very well made myself a victim there by that. There's nobody here. Is everybody too scared of me or something like that? Oh, I don't think so. No, yeah, there's somebody. I'm seeing them in the distance anyway. I keep losing them because of the graphics. It is a Ford. A blue Ford car. Am I going to spare them or am I going to get them? Depends on what their intentions are. I'll spare this one. He's not doing me any harm. He's friendly. Alright. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on there? Oh God. Right, alright. Somebody lost control of their car there. Okay, then this hand ended up losing complete control there and ended up crashing. Okay, somebody's uh, gone off the track again. Yeah, it's just right Vauxhall here. He ended up losing complete control of his car there. I don't know how on earth that happened. Just lost control on his own accord. Oh, God. If I, were, if I was a Honda, that would have been the perfect pun right there. <laughs> uh, the Honda car, like, is it a Honda Accord? Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Wow. I guess these Vauxhalls don't like each other. I thought they were supposed to be teammates. That red and white car. I guess maybe not. Maybe he doesn't like him. Maybe he's secretly got a grudge against him. 
some secret development happening. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Sinister plots taking place. Yeah, I saw the battery man you gave. Yeah, you can go off. Uh, I didn't know I didn't knock him out of the race. Right, okay, thank goodness I didn't know. Actually, no, that, that's actually a bit of a shame I didn't because, you know, you could have seen that for yourselves right there, but no. Sadly, he wasn't. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> Very horrible. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just crashing every... Jesus! Oh my God. Right, okay. My car is back in the same state like it was like, earlier. Except the Vauxhall ended up uh, damaging it. Except it was the white one, not the red one. Kind of not what I was expecting there. Alright, so let's see if I can find that Vauxhall that punted into me. Well, actually, no, I can No, I, I, I raced ahead of him, didn't I? I'll meet him again and I'll get my uh, revenge next time against him. And a little bit, I want to stick around and support him the past for a while. Oh, that's good to hear that you're streaming soon, uh, streaming soon Shelby. Um, I'll see maybe at the end of this race, as I said, at the end of this race, once this race is done in the championship, uh, I will um, end the stream off. And what I'll do is I'll uh, raid somebody. Um, I'll see who I want to raid. I might raid you, possibly, at the end of this. I mean, I'm not sure who yet, but um, I'll, I'll figure it out. I, I, I might raid you at the end of the stream, Shelby. If you're starting at that point. Whoever you want, um, I'll be a part of the crowd. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, that's no problem. It just depends as well, because I mean, Ryan. I mean, well, he's been on Twitch longer than I have, and he's probably no more people than me. So I, um, I uh, probably won't have that many people to choose from. It, it just depends, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's good that honestly, like, ever ever since, like, I've been watching his streams and everything, and he's been doing all these raids of these um, different streamers, it's been good to get to know new people. Including you as well, Shelby. Or, sorry, Shelby? Shelby, not Shelby, good lord. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm mixing up names now. Um... Including you as well, Sh uh, Shebby. Uh, because um, like Ra I remember like when Ryan uh, raided your channel. I remember back in the day when that happened and I first commented on your stream as well. It's fine, yeah. Okay, good. No, I'm taking out that marker board like it's nothing. I mean, he could raid you. Really? I never knew that. <laughs> and look where we all are now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, I'm halfway through the race now. Let's see what more mayhem can ensue here in this race. What may, what more him? Yeah, ta, ta ta ta. What more mayhem could occur? <laughs> Don't know why I get my words mixed up here tonight. Super happy to have uh, met you guys. Love our bandicoot is growing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. A bandicoot definitely is growing bit by bit. 
and I'm pleased to see a grew. Let's maybe not cause a bit of mayhem with this Peugeot here. What's he planning on doing? Let's look behind me. What's he doing? Oh, okay. He's, he's not uh, that much of a threat to me, so it's fine. I'm going to move on and leave him alone. Let's see what's going to happen here with these cars. Nothing really much is happening. So let's uh, make it a little bit more exciting, shall we? Let's send this uh, Ford for a ride in the grass. And send this box on to a wall. I uh, uh, didn't mean for that to rhyme there. I would call it uh, in the national family. Yeah, exactly. We're one big happy family, one big bandicoot family, one would say. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. One big happy bandicoot family. That's what I like to say. Yeah, precisely. Oh, God on my okay. And this hand, I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. He was just broke all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly. Okay, my teammate's back. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Bincliffe, that's my teammate's name. Uh, he's not being very cooperative with me. He's being a bit defensive. Don't really like your attitude there, Mr. Bincliffe. You're kind of being a bit aggressive. Well, maybe not now. He's... Finally, let me pass. Oh, somebody will bump into each other. Hey, Zally, we're all uh, spreading the uh, the love between, well, a big happy family, a magical family. Honest to God, I don't know how many times I've gone into the grass in this game. It's right, yeah. You punning me earlier. I I remember you. You punning me. Take that. <sighs> yep, cannon shot. He had a huge crash there. Oh God, somebody is not happy with it. Oh God, this Honda is being super fast. I don't know why. But he gets what he deserves for that, for trying to pump me off. Or was he even trying to do that? No, I don't care either way. For trying to pull a fast one on me like that, he, well, literally, <laughs> trying to pull a fast one on me, he got, he got what he deserved.
keep thinking I keep hearing somebody that's racing behind me. But no, that's just me. Oh my god, right, okay. You see, when you when you look at the uh, the Audi like car that I'm using, like the left side... Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, no, oh my god. Well, I was trying to show off the left side of my car, and what did I do? I bang up even further, and uh, it doesn't get any worse. Um, but it's pretty mauled. But the right wing mirror is still attached. The left one is completely gone and kaput. Right, good. I'm glad that didn't cost me a lap there when I went through the grass um, or when I slipped on that grass there. Because sometimes that can happen. Like, if you take an unnecessary shortcut, uh, they will say, no, you'll need to do the lap again. Wow, I've just realised this has been going on for nearly four and a half hours. This may be one of my longest streams yet, honestly. There's no one else around, on the track anyway. Aha! Here's some cars coming up. Who is it? Ah, it's a Renault. One of my fiercest rivals. And uh, a Volvo as well. Okay, he kind of slid on the grass on his own accord and uh, <laughs> gave me the lead over him. Oh, for God's sake, Volvo, what the hell are you doing? Did you even seriously need to brake? Why is he braking so much? So like, even the Renault's questioning your actions. Like, why are you braking so much? Right, eight more laps after this to go, and then we are done with this race. Is the Formula One Ford. Like, honestly, when I listen to the engine of that Ford car, it honestly sounds like a Formula One car or a saxophone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap, right. Okay, <laughs> not a very good turn there. Oh, okay, hey. How you doing, Peugeot? Just casually scraping my car as you go by, eh? Good to see that. Thank you, uh... Okay, so, oh god. This Vauxhall's right behind me. I'm slightly pulling away from them. Although that really doesn't matter because I've overlapped him that many times anyway, so... Whoa. 
Okay, that Voxel went right around the corner very faster than I thought. This Pugil's been very, or sorry, not Pugil, this Voxel, oh god, he's been very persistent. Well, not anymore now. Well, I smashed him into a wall, temper, or tapped him into a wall there. So let's see what we've got next around the corner. If we notice, yeah, good, no sliding, good. So we're pretty much in the home stretch now with this race, just uh, four more laps to go and then we are done. Oh my god, really? Ah! Well, that was horrible. And for some reason that Renault that I uh, was about to pass there looked like the one that was in second place. I might be wrong, I think I may have lost him there because of that horrible mistake I made. Yeah, it was good to see everybody just uh, spreading the appreciation between each other. It's really good to see that. Always like seeing that in the chat. Oh god, okay, right, that pusher went way too slow for my liking, but off he goes. And there's that Renault that I was trying to catch up with earlier. He, he sort of fell behind because of the traffic. Uh, see if I can maybe do something fun with him. Have a fun ride in the grass. You deserve it. <laughs> um, just seen behind me that. I don't think he took very kindly to that, did he? No, he probably didn't. Enough, at least it wasn't a slip. I'll take a hit to the car there. All right, second last lap. We're nearly there, folks. We are nearly there. Home stretch. Home stretch. Oh, God, no. Right. You're kind of in my way, Mr. Audi. Uh, well, well, that's my teammate anyway. I shouldn't call him Mr. Audi. Mr. Wincliffe. I should call him by his proper surname. So here we go, final lap. You see how this goes. Oh, whoa, okay. Out of all the laps, I never saw it on that first corner until now. And I'm seeing a Renault was uh, close behind uh, on that Audi. So I'm kind of worried that he could be closing him on my first place position. Like Alan Menu. I don't know if that was him in the Audi. 
I was saying that Audi, the Renault. But we've done it. We're going to take the checker flag yet again. We did it. Once again, the new Audi driver has proven himself a winner. Now the race position. Okay, so didn't need to worry, be worried about that. So we got first place in that. Alamenu finished second. Where did my teammate finish out of curiosity? Well, ninth place. Wow, Bencliff didn't really have a very good race on that one. So let's see how today's events affect the championship table. It's still anyone's championship, but the new Audi driver is certainly looking good. Indeed he is. Indeed he is. All right, so let's uh, save that. And what we're going to do, folks, is I think we're going to call it there because um, I don't want to make this stream far too long with the next race here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this load up and I'm going to pause it uh, because the next track we're doing is a new one, uh, Alton Park, but that will be for next time that I do that, depending on when I do it. Next stop is Alton Park for round 9 and 10 of this year's championship. The first Not tonight. But no, we are not doing that tonight, so uh, we will save that for another time. Anyway, what we'll do is we will rate somebody. I think we'll take a look at my phone, see who's on. Uh, yeah, I think I might raid a uh, uh, Chevy. I th yeah, I think I will do. So I think the command was a. Uh, I think what was it that Ryan told me in Discord? I think it was. Hang on a second, just a second. It's a uh, uh, slash raid and then and then the space username. So let's type that in now in the chat and uh, aha and then Sheb B B seven. I think that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raid uh, Shebby to end this off. Do slash raid yeah then username yeah I've I've done that now and then um. So I hit enter and then I think it does a countdown if I remember correctly. Um, I've seen this on Ryan's stream before sometimes. So let's uh, type that in. Uh, let's do that now. Right. So uh, we'll end the stream as soon as I hit raid now. So thank you very much for watching and uh, um, I shall see you again for the next stream which will be tomorrow night and that will be the start of the PlayStation Collection stream. So I will see you tomorrow night for that, for Ridge Racer and Rayman. So if you're a fan of those games, uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you very much all for watching and tuning in as always. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you ever so much. Until then, I will see you next time. And uh, we're going to go over to Sheppy Stream right now.